The Mustangs are coached by Ty Davies, assisted by Josh Langford, Greg Edson, Jim Kreckemeyer, Ian Moreno, Andy Schoen, TJ Schneider, Seth Wolf, Chris Cobley, Jeff Peterson, Eric Sherman, Kyle Growlis, Drew Davies, and Gary Davies. And the hometown Lions are coached by Stephen Robbins, assisted by Mike Simmons, Joey O'Connor. Very familiar name. I believe that's that Windsor product, a Division I player uh, uh, collegially a few years ago. Ty Anthony is Jordan Murphy, Derek Johnson, Troy Stelling, Greg Finnegan, Dylan Johnson, Trevor Garrett, Brian Moss, Brandon Briscoe, Eric Tack, and Jordan Hartlieben. Mustangs will kick it off. It'll be Adam Cardona to kick it off. The Mustangs in their road whites and Lutheran in their home darks. Opening kickoff tonight from Parker is brought to you by Ingmeyer Phillips Insurance. Things happen in life. Make sure you're prepared with the right insurance coverage. Ingmeyer Phillips Insurance in Brush and Fort Morgan. Oh, this is a picturesque, beautiful night for football. The, the sun is setting here in Parker rapidly, so we won't have too much daylight. No. One of the great traditions of high school football, the singing of the national anthem by one of the students. And I thought all across the whole band of the United States, that's uh, the mountain, mountain time zone, at 7 o'clock on Friday night, there's people standing out there with their heads off singing the national anthem. Devante Street and Andre Norman back deep to receive for the Lions. And that ball is booted low, and it's caught by one of the upmen at the 30-yard line, running to his right towards the sideline, and tackled at the 35 is Luke Arnold. Lutheran has pretty good field position at their own 36-yard line to begin their first drive. And quarterbacked by Nick Moss. Mustang defensive line did extremely well last week. Nick Norris was instrumental with a lot of tackles along that line. The Mustangs will operate out of the pistol when they're on offense. This is very similar here for this Lutheran offense. In the backfield is Luke Arnold. To the right of the quarterback, Moss, about six yards behind center, now stepping up a bit. Lining up on that right hash mark, first and ten. Official spot is the 37-yard line for Lutheran. Awaiting the snap is Moss, and he's going to pitch it left to Arnold, swinging it to the outside, cutting it back towards the middle. He's tackled at the 39 for a gain of two and the first Mustang in on the play let's see I, I don't know if I have that number here. Like that's Jesus Villalobos yes. yep Jesus Villalobos in on the tackle it'll be a gain officially of one and uncharacteristically they try and throw us off by running on the first play second down and nine from the 38 again from the pistol and there's the handoff right up the middle across the 40 to the 41. It's a gain of about three. And that might be Arnold again before he's hit by the middle of the line. Yeah, Arnold was not uh, a factor last week. I wonder whether Latino was, was injured. Alex Ortega made the hit. We'll call it officially third down and five from the 42. A turf field here in Parker. The receiver out to the right is... Kale Garcia. Again, they're running back to the left. Moss awaits the snap on third and five. Three-step drop. Pressure coming. Rolls out to his right. Still pressure. Throwing in the run. The pass is complete. It's a first down along the sideline. And that is caught over there by Garcia. And that's going to be a gain of probably around 13 yards for Garcia. So Moss completes his first pass on a third down. Yeah, he got outside of... Uh, <coughs> Linker came in and... Uh and Moss got on the outside of him. First and 10 for the 45-yard line of Fort Morgan. Again from the pistol, running back Arnold to the right. And Arnold has the football running off left tackle. He's got very little. He's smothered over there by a couple of Mustangs at about the 43-yard line. Via Lobos around the football, as was Norris and Isaac Linker. It'll be second down and eight to go for Lutheran at the Mustang 43. Opening drive. Just over 10 minutes to go. Fort Morgan has yet to touch the football. Again, Moss awaiting the snap on second down. He's going to throw it out in the left flat, caught by Garcia, and he's going to be tackled right there, a short gain. And I believe that's Fajardo in on the hit. Yeah, nice form tackle out there by Fajardo. 
And let's see where the gain went to the 41. So just a two-yard pass there. Third down and six to go for Lutheran in Mustang territory. Could be four down territory here at the 41. Two receivers split to the left and to the right. Arnold alone set back. Moss is going to roll out to his right. No pressure. Now he's going to run towards the sideline, throw in the run, and that's going to be out of bounds. That pass thrown out of bounds. It'll be fourth down. You would think Lutheran would punt here at the Mustang 41-yard line. The first incomplete pass thrown by Moss. Jacob Ortega in on the coverage. And how aggressive is Lutheran going to be here on fourth down and six from the 41? I don't see a punter out there unless it's Arnold. No, they're going to go for it. They figured if they don't get the first down, I mean, Fort Morgan will get a good field position, but the punt would only merit about 20 or 25 yards at some point. On fourth down and six, back to throw, Arnold. No pressure, throws towards the middle, and it's incomplete. Boyd on the slant off the left hand of no attack. He was open at the 33-yard line, but it was thrown behind him, and the Mustangs take over on downs, but if that pass was there, it would have been a complete one. Yep. He had a little bit more time than I'd like to give him. They seem to be having a good blocking scheme up front that's giving Moss more time to throw. The Mustangs scored on their first play from scrimmage last week. So they'll have it at the 41-yard line. And you wonder, are they going to go up top here or do something completely different? Because that timing pattern last week from Linker to Ortega went for 64 yards, and that required a, I mean, some exact precision. J.P. Hamer's the lone setback on first and 10. Out of the pistol is Isaac Linker, the senior quarterback, awaiting the snap. He's going to hand it off to Hamer off right side, off the right side, and it's a short gain to about the 42. I don't know if he got a yard there. Looks like he was hit at the line of scrimmage. I think... Fort Morgan's going to have to challenge Lutheran's pass defense because they're all up in the box working on uh, stopping that run for Fort Morgan. They didn't have anyone more than eight yards deep. Hamer went over 100 yards a week ago. On second down and 10 for the 41. 8.47 to go in the opening quarter. No score from Parker. Lenker again awaits the snap. He'll hand it off and ride up the gut. Hamer again, but he's got very little yardage. He got to the 42, maybe a, a yard and a half before he stacked up there by the middle of that Lutheran defense, including Eric Cumley, a senior. Third down and nine to go. It'll be a passing situation here for the Mustangs. Right up to the line of scrimmage. Cardona's the receiver to the left. In that slot to the right side is Jacob Ortega Fajardo out to the right on third down and nine for the 42. Linker with a three-step drop. The slant is going to be nearly picked off. Intended for Cardona, but he was well covered. And, yeah, we do have a flag, and that's going to be a late hit against Lutheran. That's almost the defenseless receiver type of hit, and there was no reason because the ball was already broken up there by Cumley. Yeah, I think yeah. the Lutheran kid didn't even see him coming, and it was kind of an in, uh, inconsequential hit, but... The ref saw it a different way, and we'll take the benefit of that 15 yards. Yep. Keep the drive going. First yep. penalty of the game, and that'll be in Lutheran territory with 8.02 to go in the opening quarter. That should place it at the 42-yard line of Lutheran. Well, 44, I guess it's different math here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. Well, when you cross the 50, you have to carry the one and dot the I. Apparently so. First and ten for Fort Morgan at the 44-yard line of Lutheran. J.P. Hamer has two carries for only a yard so far. Let's see if they stick on the ground, hand off to Hamer, swinging it to the outside, and he's got a couple of yards, a little bit of a better carry there down to the 41. A gain of about three. Oh, they'll backtrack the football to the 42. I guess not a lot of forward progress here. The tackle was made over there by Taylor Latrella Jr. Second down and eight for the Mustangs at the 42-yard line of Lutheran. Live in Parker, seven and a half to go in the opening quarter. No score. This is Fort Morgan's first drive. 
Linker this time will keep the football right up the gut and he's driven back after a gain of a yard to the 41. And there was a hard hit in there by Ryan Crow, a senior. Luther is playing a 5-2 with a monster safety that's coming up and actually being the third linebacker on the strong side. So it's almost a 5-3. They've got eight in the box trying to stop our run. Third down and seven. Fort Morgan at the Lutheran 41-yard line. Linker looking towards the sidelines for play instructions. Out of the pistol formation. On third down and seven from the 41. Linker is going to roll out to his right. Pressure coming backside. Still running, still running. And he's going to throw it away. Did he throw that away? Yep. Just threw it away. Had nothing there. As he was running out of room. And the Mustangs will have to punt on fourth down. And seven to go for the 41-yard line of the Lions. Rolled out to the right, but he had a kid on his hot on his tail. The Fort Morgan Lions are going to have to step it up a little bit if we're going to be successful tonight. The freshman Frankie Ortega to punt. And that should be Andre Norman back deep to receive for Lutheran standing at his own eight-yard line. Awaiting the snap. A little bit high, but Ortega's got it. Heavy rush. He gets it off a spiraling punt towards the sideline. And it goes out of bounds, probably inside the 10. That's an excellent punt by Frankie Ortega. The football is going to be marked. Still being marked inside the 10, maybe the 5-yard line. That's a 36-yard punt for the freshman Frankie Ortega. That's the play of the game so far on special teams. 5 minutes and 20 seconds in. Uh, okay, they're changing out football. Though. I was wondering what they were doing there for a minute. When it comes to experience, Buildings by Design is the best in the business. Quality, commitment, and experience makes Buildings by Design the only choice when it comes to your next project. Well, that might be Latino now in the backfield, Kevin. It is Landon Latino. He was the leading ground gainer last Get week in the 19-point loss to Platte Valley. Out of the pistol, two receivers split each side. Nick Moss, the quarterback, standing on the goal line, throws it out in the right flat, passes dropped. It is dropped over there by Devante Street. I think he was sensing pressure from the Fort Morgan secondary. It'll be second down and 10 to go. Now Moss last week was 25 of 50 for 242 yards against Platte Valley. Two of five so far for 15 yards. On second down and 10 from the five yard line. Trips to the right. Only one receiver to the left. A lot of times they go to the weak side here. And that will be a quarterback keeper, and Moss has very little. That is Isaac Linker, who read that play perfectly, knocking him down after a gain of about one. Yeah, they made him right at the line. It'll be third down and nine to go for Lutheran. At their own six-yard line, if anything, Fort Morgan could win the battle of field position right now. Again, trips to the right. Three receivers to the right. That's what trips is all about on third down and nine for the six. Back to throw is Moss. Looking towards the middle. The pass is caught short of a first down to about the 13-yard line. It was grabbed over there by no attack before a couple of Mustangs converge. It's a gain of seven. But Lutheran will have to punt on a fourth down at about two. And right here, you don't want to be too close to the line don't no don't jump go, yeah I mean it would be ridiculous especially with the field position that you've got let's see who's punting that could be Harris over there end over end punt Ortega has got it near midfield Ortega stutter stepping taking it to the outside he slips now he's down and he's down at about the 41 yard line of Lutheran so good field position off the punt there I don't have a 47 for Lutheran. That was the number of the punter. First and 10 for the Mustangs at the 41 of the Lions. A defense that allowed 36 points last week to Platte Valley. So the Mustang defense has done their job so far on Lutheran's first two drives of the game. On first and 10. J.P. Hamer, the lone setback. Out of the pistol. Man in motion. And there's the handoff to Hamer. He's got a nice hole across the 
35-yard line, or towards the 35, I should say, down at the 36. It's a gain of six for the senior. Second down and four to go for Fort Morgan. Yeah, they ran off that left side that time, up between the tackle and the guard, and opened it up enough to get a little yardage. Looks like Jacob Ortega is over getting some retaping of his ankle. On second down and about four, and this will be a quarterback keeper. Linker stutter stepping, taking it to the outside. Now he stops and moves forward, and he dives towards a first down marker very close. He made a few moves down there. It's going to be very close to a first down at the 31-yard line. It's a gain of four. They give him the first. All right, Isaac Linker just picked up a first down. Lost you there for a second from the 31. Linker is back to throw, and he throws it deep up the left sideline for Ortega. Touchdown! Touchdown! Jacob Ortega makes the catch from 31 yards away, beating the defender, Kale Garcia. And Fort Morgan leads with 4.06 to go in the opening quarter. Six to nothing in Parker. Yeah, yeah, that defender, the defender really had pretty good coverage on him, and he stopped to think he was going to get that pass, and it just sailed over his head and right into Jacob's hand. Yeah, Jacob did a really good job of kind of psyching him out there by stopping, and that caused the defender to stop, and then Jacob just stood behind, took a step behind him and caught that hit. It's Ortega's fifth touchdown of the season, and now the extra point to be attempted by Cardona who is now a junior off the hold of Linker. Awaiting the snap, it's down. The kick is up, and that one is right in between the uprights. 4.06 to go, first quarter. The score, Fort Morgan 7, Lutheran nothing on B106 and B106.com. Mustangs take a 7-0 lead on a 31-yard touchdown catch by Jacob Ortega. Brian, let's uh, recap the, uh, the short drive there for Fort Morgan. Yeah, 41 yards. They start on their own 41. <clears throat> Three plays. Uh, 31-yard touchdown pass to Jacob Ortega. The point after attempt was good to put the, Morgan, the Mustangs up 7 to nothing here in the first quarter. Took a minute and 11 seconds. Now the kickoff by Cardona. No, it's uh, Alex Ortega. Uh, Ortega, excuse me. And that one is... Booted into the ground at the 30-yard line and down at the 34 is J.J. Smolin, a sophomore. Is that Frankie Ortega yeah, that took him that down? That's Frankie, freshman, yeah. and he's going in on defense. Thirty-three yard line. First and 10 at the 33-yard line for Lutheran. Third possession of the game for the Lions. Waiting the snap, and there is the handoff to Latino right up the middle. A gain of 2 to the 35. It'll be second down and 8 to go. That's his first carry of the game. You might find that rough rough running up the middle. He only averaged about five and a half last week. On second down. Out of the pistol. Play action. Looking to throw. Pressure coming in. Sack. Moss is sacked over there. Back at the 30-yard line. And Kale Langford, a sophomore, in on the first hit. That'll set up a third down and 13. Boy, that was an excellent play. And Moss had nowhere to go. Yeah, he turned to avoid one hit, and there's another Fort Morgan Mustang closing in on him. Third down and 13 from the 30. Again from the gun. The setback to the right is Landon Latino. Mustangs leading 7-0 on the 31-yard touchdown. Catch by Ortega. Five-step drop. Pressure coming again. Rolling right. Throws out of it, and the pass is going to be incomplete. At the 40-yard line, intended for no attack, but essentially thrown into the ground. Lots of pressure coming backside. Nick Norris and a couple of other Mustangs, including Villalobos in there, and this Lutheran team will have to punt for the third time already, or actually they went for it the other time, the second time with 2.48 to go in the opening quarter, and the Mustangs up by a score of 7 nothing. 
High snap, and Cardona applies some pressure. The punt towards the sideline. Ortega's got it at about the 38-yard line. Stutter stepping, running towards the middle. Has got a seam, and then he's down near midfield. Let's see where the football will be spotted. But again, the Mustangs with excellent field position. And already up by a touchdown. Yeah, they put nice pressure on the, that third down play. It'll be at the 49-yard line. So the Mustangs have it at the... At the 49. Out of the pistol. There's the give to Hamer running off right tackle. And he's across the 50, but barely across the 50. Maybe got to the 49. It's a gain of, uh, I think they'll call it just one. Second down and nine to go at midfield for Fort Morgan. Hamer now has five carries for 10 yards. Lutheran going man-to-man -man on all the receivers and putting the other guys all up in the box to stop that Fort Morgan running game. Moya and... Ortega are the receivers to the left. The lone setback out of the pistol once again is J.P. Hamer. No receivers out to the right. Linker will hand it off. Nope, he's going to play action, rolling to his left, running out of room, throwing along the sideline. It's incomplete. Might have been tipped and went off the left shoulder pad of Donovan Moya. Linker's one for three, but the one he did complete... Went the distance. Third down and nine to go from midfield. Minute 49 to go in the first. And I like you running to the left. Did that a lot last week at Brush. All right, from midfield, Linker looking over for play instructions. In the last five seconds, he better hurry. Yep. And the snap, he gets it off. Linker looking. The slant is tipped and complete. Batted down and intended for Moya. The Mustangs will have to punt off for fourth and nine. Yeah, the last two have been tipped. You're not getting it up high enough, or that defensive line is getting our hands up when they're rushing. It's definitely a step up in defense as compared to what they saw last last week. Oh, without a doubt. All right, back deep to punt, standing at his own 36 is Frankie Ortega. He gets it off another end-over-end -end punt this time. It'll bounce at the 20, and, well, that nearly hit a Lutheran Lion down at the 14-yard line. Another effective punt, and that one goes for 36 yards. So he's doing his job very nicely. Yeah, he's been the, besides the touchdown, that's been our two biggest plays. First and 10 for Fort Morgan at their own 14-yard line. Nick Boss awaits the snap. Rolls out and then pitches it forward here to Latino across the 15 to the 20. But there's going to be a flag there. And that's going to go against Lutheran. That was looked like a block in the back or a hold. On the right side, Linker was looking over towards one of the officials. And yeah, this is going to go backwards. That's going to negate the five-yard gain. As the officials are looking towards the goal line. But they're still talking about this. Yeah, I'm sure it's going against. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out whether it's a spot foul or from the line of scrimmage. I think it was holding. Yeah. Back down to the eight. First down again. Okay. We need a block in the back. I couldn't tell him the referee had his back to us. Now it'll be a first down, and we'll call it 16 
to go from the 8-yard line. Backpedaling in the end zone. The screen is set up, and it's caught at the 7-yard line. But the Mustangs are right there at the 8. Isaac Linker makes a huge hit over there to nail Dorian Pacheco. And that's a gain of only one, as Fort Morgan read that perfectly. Yeah, after that last time they sent six guys on the third down last series, I thought, boy, Fort Morgan better be watching for that screen. And I'm sure the Lutheran coaches saw that up in the box and called that. And Linker did a great job of sneaking, sniffing that out. Second down and 15 to go from the nine. We got 40. Three seconds to go, clock running, opening quarter, Fort Morgan up 7 nothing. back to throw, pressure coming, sack of the It's going to be a safety, K.O. Langford comes through for the safety out there with Eddie DePriest as well. And also in on the hit for the Mustangs, James Hokanet, also it's a safety in the Mustangs lead, 9 to nothing. Yeah, it almost looked like they were going to set up for another screen pass, but I'm not sure if that's what it was, but... They just collapsed that on him, and he had no chance. That was a jailbreak. Yeah, there's like four guys that got to him before he had a chance to even set up and throw. Yeah. All right, so now Lutheran will be punting from their own 20-yard line. First two Mustang scores of the game brought to you by Cargill Meat Solutions, working with the community to make sure there are jobs for the members of the community they're in. That's Cargill Meat Solutions. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, last year, though, we had a few safeties also during some games, but uh, that's our first one this year so far. Set up by that block in the back against Linker yep. that uh, got him back to the eight. All right, so the Mustangs have played outstanding defense so far, and now it'll be a punt from the 20-yard line for Lutheran. Again, we don't have 47 on the roster. So I'm not sure who that is. I'll try and pick up from the PA announcer. Jacob Ortega and J.P. Hamer standing at around the 25-yard line. Oh, they're going to kick. Kick off. Instead of punt. Okay. Yep. And you got the T out there. And that ball is booted low and into the ground. Takes a huge hop. Hamer drops it, picks it up at the 25, running to his right to the 30. Hamer still on his feet, and he might break it all the way. Hamer to the 40-yard line, across the 30, up the right sideline to the 20. A flag is down, and he's down at the 15-yard line, so this will come back. There is a flag down, and this one is going to come back more than likely. Fort Morgan will still have good field position. But now they're going to assess the penalty. That was kind of a weird, I don't know if he grabbed him and threw him down. He kind of rolled. I'm not sure just what happened over there. Right, they, they both kind of got tangled up and fell, and as they fell over, the Lutheran's defender's arm was kind of stuck back in with the offensive guy, or Morgan guy. Yeah, it was three years ago when Hamer was a freshman that uh, we first called his name as he uh, broke, broke it for a 95-yard touchdown kickoff return. I think that might have been against Brush. See where they're gonna should be ten yards from the. Yeah, I mean they'll still have excellent 45. field position. Start from their own forty-five. That football, they're saying it's at the. Does that look like the forty-six? Yep, forty-six yard line. First and ten for the Mustangs. There's the handoff right up the gut and a short gain there. That looks like it's Eddie DePriest and there's a late flag. There is a late flag. Let's see what that's about, gentlemen. Lutheran seems to think it's against Fort Morgan. We'll see. Let's hope it's not a late hit personal foul type thing that we were trying to avoid in your nickel package. Yep. Let's see what they, it's going to be against Fort Morgan. Yeah, and it was, I mean, it was after the play.
I have to assume that's a personal foul. Yeah. And again, who knows what happened there. The play will count. But this was one of your keys to the game there that you are documenting. Brian, and so far, Fort Morgan's been fairly disciplined, but you don't want to commit that penalty right there. Let's see if they change that to second down. They've still got it first down on the sidelines. Yeah, it, sh it should be second. Again, a two-yard gain for DePriest. What are they doing? The first and 10 at the 32? That doesn't second, make any sense. Just a second down. The yeah, second and there. 25 now. Linker will keep it running towards the right sideline. He's got some room still on his feet. And then he's dragged out of bounds. Isaac Linker is. Keep in mind, we don't have a lot of elevation here. Not a lot of accommodations. Quarter comes up to... Oh, he must have ran out of bounds. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so with two got, seconds to go. Got about nine or ten yards back on that. Yep, ten yards in a game from Linker. Third down and 15 to go from their own 41-yard line. Linker again looking towards the sideline. Awaiting the snap. Steps up to the line. Now backs off into the pistol formation. Linker, play action, looking to throw, rolling to his left. All types of pressure. He's going to throw it away. He had to. He had no choice. And he threw it out of bounds. And that's the end of the opening quarter. It's a one-minute break with a score in Parker. Fort Morgan 9, Lutheran nothing on B106 and B106.com. The Mustangs with a 9 nothing lead as we head to the second quarter. I'm John Beltran with Brian Nickel and Kevin Rohde from Parker and Lutheran High School. Frankie Ortega's done a nice job uh, punting yeah, so far, Brian. Yeah, yeah, he's done a nice job. I'm not sure what the average is, but he's... He's really changed the, flipped the field position for the Mustangs tonight. And he's standing at his own 26-yard line. Perfect snap. He gets it off. And that kind of shanked it a bit. And that's going to go well out of bounds at around the 30-yard line. But that might give a more favorable field position. Oh boy, they, he gave a really favorable field position there. We lucked out on that one. Let's see. I mean, it went out at the 30, but they should have advanced that football more because in the air. It landed about on the 30. You're right. Didn't it? I mean. Yeah. Are they going to mark that at the 28? Wow. I mean, Fort Morgan got a huge break there. A huge break. So that should be further back. First and 10 for the Lions at their own 28-yard line. Out of the pistol is Nick Moss. Receiver split each side. Throw out in the left flat, and it goes right through the hands of the intended receiver, Kale Garcia. Second down and 10. And I guess we, guess we can see why they had 25 drop passes last week. Right. Well, or incomplete. We don't know if they were all dropped, but I'm sure some of those were dropped anyway, just yeah. based on what we're seeing right now. Right up to the line of scrimmage, second down and 10 from the 28-yard line. Moss awaits the snap, eight seconds into the second. Looking out, throwing the slant is going to be caught, a diving reception, and that's going to be close to a first down at the 38-yard line, and it's caught over there by no attack. And are they going to move the sticks? Nope, third down and one. It's a gain of nine. Attack with a second reception for 16 yards. Yeah, they're deciding if it's a first. I don't know what they're doing. Okay. Well, again, it's still early in the season for everybody. Yep. Third down and a yard from the 37. They haven't changed the yard line to throw out, and that's going to be caught. Nope, dropped. Nope, dropped along the sideline. Very close, but... That's an interesting play call on a third down and a yard, or less than a yard. Now it's fourth down. Especially since they've had relative success getting two or three yards every time they've run the ball. Yeah, as big as that quarterback is, he could have made that. I mean, right. he's a pretty good-sized quarterback. All right, the Mustangs will get an early possession in the second quarter. 31-yard touchdown pass from Isaac Linker to Jacob Ortega. Then Cale Langford tackled the quarterback, Nick Moss, in the end zone for the safety. High 
end over end, and Moya's got it at the 28, and that's the fair catch. And the punt goes for 35 yards, and the Mustangs actually have some of their worst field position of the night. Yep. I say that's got to be probably the worst field position. So now we need to see Fort Morgan you know, establish a little bit of a drive and chew up some time on the clock and let her defense rest. Yeah. Well, they could take some more time in between plays, and that, that might help as well. I don't know exactly what the, uh, the strategy implemented by head coach Ty Davies will be. Ortega's in motion to the left. The pitch left to Ortega looking for an opening to the outside. Cuts it back and he's going to be thrown for a loss at the 26-yard line. Thrown for a loss by Brody Schneider, a senior. Second down and 12. That was Ortega's first carry of the game. Yeah, you would have been better advised to just lower his head and try and get four or five yards on. Well, yeah, if he just kept swinging it to the outside, but once you stop... Good then you allow the defenders to get there. Yeah, and they had good pursuit. Second down and 12 yards to go for Fort Morgan. 10.51 to go. Second quarter. Fort Morgan leads in Parker over Lutheran. 9-0. Out of the pistol. Linker is going to roll out to his right. Linker with pressure coming. Throwing on the run. The pass is going to be incomplete. Intended for Ortega. He had a little bit of an advantage over the defender. But that's a tough throw along the sideline for Isaac Linker. And he was pressured over there by no attack. Third down and 12 to go. And Linker one out of five. However, the one completion is the 31-yard touchdown catch. The receiver to the left is Cardona. On the inside slot is Ortega. Two to the right. Third down and 12 to go for the 26. Mustangs just looking to put together a couple of first downs. They really haven't had too much rhythm on offense. Oh, and they were, Well, Lutheran started to come across, but it looked like a Mustang moved on the right side. And I think that's going to be called on Fort Morgan. Yeah, they did not. Yeah, Lutheran did not get into the neutral zone. So that's Fort Morgan's first. Uh, well, actually, it's their second penalty. Oh, well, they had to hold on the, the thing in the personal foul. Third penalty. I just didn't mark it down. Three penalties for 30 yards. Third down and 17 from their own 21. Lining up on the left hash mark. This offense now with the explosiveness of a week ago. Haven't done much so far. Pressure coming on the blitz. Linker back to throw. Deep over the middle of the pass. It's going to be tipped and complete. Boy, well defended. Oh, now there's a late flag. flag. Jacob Ortega was the intended receiver. It was broken up over there by Dorian Pacheco. And a flag came out from nowhere for the back judge. And he threw it from nearly midfield. And Noah's taking exception. And his teammates are smart keeping him away. Because you, you don't want to compound that with another 15. Well, uh, honestly, it didn't look like pass interference to me. It looked like the contact was there. Let's see what the penalty is all about. I mean, that's obviously going to be against Lutheran, but, I mean, did did you see pass interference? That looked uh, clean to me. Yeah, it looked bang, bang. Well, I still don't see an official signal. He goes to the other side, so it's... Well, they haven't signaled anything. Yeah, they signaled. They, they got a signal, so I didn't... Well, there they did along the far sideline. Uh, I don't think it'll be a first down. Bring up third down again, though. Third down and two. Yeah, I still didn't see the signal from our vantage point. But it was third and 17, a 15-yard penalty for the line of scrimmage. And again, third down and two. With a football at the 36-yard line. Fort Morgan's got a couple of breaks tonight, including that field position that should have been a lot better for... Lutheran than it was earlier in this quarter. Man in motion to the left is Ortega. Now it'll be Linker swinging it to the outside. Cuts it back towards the middle. First down. Isaac Linker to the 39. 
Just off the little keeper, he was tackled by no attack, but he needed two and he got three. Yeah, mobile quarterback with some, as Kevin said, our middle linebacker that's a quarterback. So, Well, Linker's the leading ground gainer right now. Four carries for 18 yards. On first and 10 for the 39. Handoff, Hamer, right side to the 40. Still on his feet across the 45. Spinning towards the 47, maybe the 48. And is the ball loose? I think the ball is loose. Uh, the ref's coming in saying second down. So that they apparently Well, they're also that. pointing towards I think 38 uh, the was Fort there Morgan first. possession. Pick it back up. That would be via Lobos. Yeah, I think if, I think that ball was fumbled by Hamer because two officials were pointing that Fort Morgan had possession because that's not a first down. It's a gain of seven for J.P. Hamer. Gain of nine, I should say, at the 47. Second down and one. Hamer, the lone setback. Ortega is now the receiver to the left, and he's being single covered as he was when he caught the 31-yard touchdown. Yeah, Khalil Garcia is. Covering him. On second down, Linker with a three step drop, heaves it up the left side again for Ortega. It's incomplete. He overthrew him, but Ortega had a step on Garcia. And again, they're not in rhythm yet because that's the fifth incompletion in six attempts by Isaac Linker. That's a good, good uh, play to call on third and one when you know that you can probably get at least one yard running at the next two times to stretch him out and try and catch him sleeping. 9.22 to go, opening half. Fort Morgan 9, Lutheran nothing. Ortega with a 31-yard touchdown catch. And K.O. Langford tackle quarterback Nick Moss a couple of yards into the end zone for a safety. On third down and one from the 47. There's the give to Hamer. First down as he's tackled at about the 49. It's a gain of two. And he was hit by Wyatt Gonglatch. A junior for Lutheran. Now they're just kind of establishing their dominance up front. And well, they're trying to. I mean, Hamer, seven carries for 21. Linker's got four for 18. So they've got, that's 11 carries there for 39 yards. And you got Ortega and DePriest cancel each other out. Ortega thrown for a loss earlier in this possession. So really, Fort Morgan right now has got 13 carries for 39 yards, averaging three yards a carry. Stoppage in play for an equipment issue. Yeah, I think there's a player bleeding. It's number 50. Brody Schneider, he's out of the game right now for Lutheran. Approaching the nine-minute mark, Nick Norris repositions himself along the offensive line. He's the right tackle for Fort Morgan. First and 10 for the Mustangs at their own 49-yard line. Well, on that right side, they sure have tight splits on the line, Fort Morgan does. Yeah, they got to wind that clock. I don't know why there it's being wound. On first down, Linker hands it off to Hamer, stutter steps, and then squeezes a yard out of that play, maybe two to the 49 of Lutheran. Before he's upended there, Dorian Pacheco. And on the hit for the Lions, second down and eight to go. Mustangs right up to the line of scrimmage. But they're keeping this Lutheran offense off the field. They're starting to dominate time of possession here, Yep, Brian, in this quarter. That's what they needed. On second down, two receivers out to the left, one to the right. Out of the pistol. Hamer is to Linker's right. He'll get the handoff. He'll stutter step again, and he's got nothing. Maybe to the 48, and that's about it. Gang tackled there by three Lions, and leading the charge was Ryan Crow, a senior. Third down and seven to go, and it's Hamer's running hard, but he just cannot find the openings there. Nine carries for 24 yards, and Lutheran's doing a nice job of filling in all the gaps. Yeah, well, they're just putting eight guys up there between the, the tackles and daring us to run outside. Third down and seven. Lenker awaits a snap on third and seven. Two-step drop, looking, throws towards the sideline, incomplete. Intended for Cardone, he threw a bullet over there. And it was defended by Eric Cumley. Lenker's now one out of seven. The Mustangs will have to punt, and 
Linker is trying to look for another target. Yep. But the thing is, is that uh, the Mustangs, unfortunately, are not connecting tonight. And he's throwing the ball in there hard, and I think some of these receivers need to work on catching those hard balls better. Yeah, if they're not, maybe they're not used to it in practice or something, but they, uh, he's got a pretty strong arm. Frank Yore taking a punt, standing at his own 38-yard line. He's punting it towards the right sideline. Boy, that's going to hit the sideline right there at about the 15-yard line, maybe. I mean, a perfect, almost like a pooch, even though hard to pooch from 62 yards away. And... Again, no return, and not only has Frankie punted the ball well, but there have been no returns on all four of his punts. Right. Let's see what this football is marked with 7.22 to go in the second quarter, and Fort Morgan leading 9 to nothing. Placed it at the 15. Luther hasn't tried throwing long on us yet. First and 10, as Brian mentioned, the 15-yard line from the pistol. The pass out in the right flat. The receiver screen is caught, breaking a tackle along the right sideline, still on his feet, and knocked out of bounds by Linker. That's a late flag and a late hit. At about the 30-yard line, maybe, yep, it was a late hit against Linker. And so whatever yardage they got off that completion, they're going to add 15 more. And let's see who that receiver was. We are all the way across the other side. Garcia made the catch. This will be the fourth Fort Morgan penalty of the opening half. They'll mark it off in the end of the run unless something changes. For some reason, some of these penalties are taking time. Yeah, they have to confer on everything. Yeah, but, I mean, the flag was thrown right off the hit, so it seemed that it was a no-brainer at that point. Let's see right. where the football is marked. Looks like it was personal foul. I'm sure it was a late hit out of yeah, bounds. Yeah, they, they just yeah they did they did signal that. Football will be at the 40 yard line, so the completion went for 10 yards, and the 15 yard penalty. Moss just threw his 11th pass of the game. Third completion to Garcia, on first and 10 for the 40, pumping. Pressure's coming, and sacked right there, right at the line of scrimmage. Might not go as a sack, but DePriest was in there, along with a couple of other Mustangs. Also in on the play for Fort Morgan was Jordan Wilgenberg. It'll be second down and ten. No gain there for Moss. He tried to wiggle out of pressure. Down to 6.49 to go, second quarter. Mustangs nine, Lutheran nothing. Ortega with a 31-yard touchdown catch and a safety when Kale Langford tackled Moss in the end zone. Low snap, and now Moss is going to be nailed. I mean, that was a cavalcade of Mustangs right there. I think he handed it off. Yeah. 45. Yep, you're right. But they were right next to each other. You couldn't tell it was tackled. It's yeah. like 45 tripped over Moss's feet there. Pacheco thrown for a loss of about three yards. That's Pacheco's first carry. Third down and 13 for the 37. Again, Nick Moss from the pistol. Nothing is working for Lutheran in this game. He's got a three-step drop. Pressure coming, and he is going to be hit and sacked. Thrown down to the ground. And making that hit was Devin Gherkin. A big-time sack. Back at the 30, it's a loss of seven. And the Mustangs have applied some pressure here. We already had the sack safety and two more right there. Yep. Yeah, nice pressure. They brought a lot of people on that. Nick Norris is in there too, but they're not giving them any time to set up any type of a deep pass or even a medium pass. Fourth down and 20 from the 30. We do have a timeout. I'm not sure who called it. Fort Morgan. With 5.28 to go. We'll keep it right here. Well, the Mustangs up. Nine to nothing. Fill up your cooler and gas up your cards, Stubbs Gas and Oil. Easy and convenient. Make them the only stop you need on your way to the big game, Stubbs Gas and Oil. And get a delicious treat, breakfast or lunch option at Willow Coffee and Bake Shop. It'll make the day better on Edison Street in Brush. That's Willow Coffee and Bake Shop. For the next two weeks, we'll be home. Mustangs will take on Thomas Jefferson coming up 
next Friday, 7 o'clock on B106 and B106.com. Then the following Friday, it'll be a home game against Conifer. So the Mustangs will not be on the road for three weeks. And actually, the next road game will be a Saturday game at the end of the month, the final Saturday in September, when they take on one of the newer schools in Northfield as Lutheran getting ready to punt Ortega and Donovan Moya will stand just outside their own 30-yard line. As the timeout has ended, fourth down and about 20 from the 30-yard line. Yeah, that hasn't been a rhythm to this game, it no. seems. It's just very it's choppy in spots, and I have to wonder why. High snap. Pressure up the middle, low line drive, end over end. It'll take a funny hop. Ortega's got it at the 32. He's got speed to burn at the 40. Ortega learned the sideline to the opposing 40, and flags are down. Ortega runs out of bounds inside the 30 to the 28. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, Jake Redding there you know, made a mistake. He thought he had his head in front of him, but the official saw that he got him from behind. It's going to be a block from behind. Yeah, this one is coming back. The Mustangs will have possession on their own side of the field. That return looked like it went for close to 40 yards, but that one is coming back. And let's see where the football will be placed. You know, this is almost like last night's NFL game. Penalties all over the place. I mean, that was a pretty much of an extreme what happened last night. But we have quite a few here, and that's the reason, actually, trying to answer my own question. Why well, ha haven't had too much of a rhythm to this particular game? Right. You're mentioning uh, Thomas Jefferson coming to Fort Morgan next week. They're 2-0 and and off to a good start and playing good football. So we're going to have to expect a, a battle then, too, and they'll have had a week off. I well, they, when I mentioned 1-9, and nine, they were the one team that had oh, the, wi the victory, the and now, now I guess just two. I don't know. Were they 2-0 and or 1-1? One and one? Uh, I'm not sure. I was just going to say there was a couple of them, I think, that walked by here just a little bit ago. Oh, yeah. One guy has pretty good size. I hope he's yeah. their coach. <laughs> First and 10 at the 44 for Fort Morgan. 5-13 to go second quarter. The Mustangs up 9 to nothing in Parker over the Lutheran Lions. Ortega's in motion to the right. Fake pitch, looking to throw wide open to the left, and that ball's caught along the left sideline to the 30. Down the sideline to the 20 is J.P. Hamer to the 10, back to the middle to the 5. Hamer across the field. He is going to score. He's tackled at the goal line, but his body is across the goal line. Touchdown. Oh, what a play. Linker to Hamer. 56 yards, and the Mustangs lead 15 to nothing. Holy Mahungus, what a play. That was nice. Somebody, oh, Lutheran's down in the, Lutheran players. Down well, in the somebody for Lutheran overcommitted. They yep. completely overcommitted, did not stay in their lane, and did not account for J.P. Hamer. Yep. Yeah, they had their eyes on Ortega when he came around here, and Linker had that uh, fake pitch to Ortega, and Hamer was wide open out in yep. the flat. Yeah, Hamer just took the fake run and got up like he's going to block and leaked out there into the flat, and no one was accountable for him. Well, Isaac Linker has not completed a pass tonight that did not go for a touchdown. He's two out of eight <laughs> for 87 yards, a 31-yard touchdown to Ortega and a 56-yarder. I mean, he just slipped out of the backfield, and nobody accounted for him up the left side. Right. But the defense eventually... Caught up to him at around the 10, but then he cut across the field. But it was too late. And now the extra point to be attempted. You know, as impressive as that play, gentlemen, was the play call. Right. Well, you know, and the coaches always have someone up in the press box, and they're always looking for what the defense is doing, where they're overcommitting, that sort of thing. And, and that was one where they just saw that no one was staying home on that outside. Going for two. The two-point conversion with Linker out of the pistol. And he's going to roll out to his right off the play fake. And he's running out of room. He throws an incomplete. But the play's not going to count. There was a whistle that blew before the play commenced. But you know what? I think had they handed it off to Hamer, there was a big hole there. Yeah. You see that? I, yeah. I think they thought they did hand it off to Hamer. And when he went across, they blew the whistle like that was the... Okay. They did? I think they did. Are you serious? Whistle. Yeah. So they're going to redo it. Wow. 
I mean, it was. I mean, it was a good fake. Was it that good that the officials couldn't even? Uh... Okay. Yeah, because there's no flags, and they were. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I would expect us to fall for that trick. We're older guys, <laughs> right? Not the officials that are right there and, on the play. And we're uh, 80 yards away. And we are, and we uh, we saw the play fake. And you all have glasses. And yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which is a good thing. We have a yeah. We have six eyes between the three of us. Well, hold on. Uh, Twelve. <laughs> Six pairs. That's what I meant. All right. Here we go. Two-point conversion again. Hamer in the backfield. Two receivers to the left and two to the right, so they're really spread out. Linker is going to lob it up towards the right corner, and it is caught. I think that's Ortega. Yep, it's good. The two-point conversion in the right corner of the end zone. A little fly pattern there, even though it's only a two-point conversion. 4.59 to go, second quarter, 30-second break. Fort Morgan, 17, Lutheran nothing on B106 and B106.com. Well, gentlemen, it's all about the big plays tonight, a 56-yarder <laughs> there. Really not too much of a sustained drive, although they had to travel quite a bit there, Brian, for that touchdown because it didn't start at the 44, but they benefited from, uh, from a penalty there by... Uh, yeah, Lutheran on that drive. Kick it off. That ball is going to be fielded at the 10-yard line. Running across that might be straight along the 15. Now down the sideline. He's got some room. And he's going to be tackled closer to the 35-yard line. So Street, the return man there for the Lutheran Lions. A return of close to 30 yards. It would be huge if Fort Morgan could keep him out of the end zone for the rest of the half and go in at half with a three-score advantage. We are at the top of the hour. This is Morgan County's B106, KPRB. Brush, Fort Morgan, John Beltran, along with Brian Nickel and Kevin Rohde. 4.50 to go, second quarter. Fort Morgan leads 17-0. First and 10. They backtrack the football to the 36-yard line. Moss looking to his right, throws, and that pass is going to be incomplete off the right hand of Donovan Moya. It looked like a miscommunication there because there were two receivers near the area. One no attack, and the other one Andre Norman. But Nick Moss has already attempted 12 passes. Well, I shouldn't say already because that's not even halfway to what he did last week by halftime. Right. And he's got uh, 5 of 12 for 42 yards so far in the opening half. Second down and 10 for the 36. Again, quick drop. Throwing the slant is caught. First down for Garcia. And that's going to go to about the 46 or 47-yard line. Gain of 10. And that's a pass that we're giving them. Uh, inside receivers being covered off the ball. That's the fourth catch. Again, Moss looking to throw. Pumping it, and he tried to get out of pressure. He did, and then he's going to run forward, and then he's tackled there by Wilkenberg. He got back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, I, I thought they were going to sack him there. He got popped pretty good there. It spun yeah. him around. But I think he got more than the line of scrimmage. I think maybe yeah. a, a yard. That's yeah. about it for Moss. Second down and nine. Poor Morgan rotating their defensive linemen in and out, keeping them fresh. And a timeout, Lutheran. With 4.06 to go. And the Mustangs up 17 to nothing. Yeah, I'm not sure what to make of the first half so far. Because you love the score. You got to yeah. love the score. But then, is this the personality of this Fort Morgan team this year? Because they've had big plays so far this season. To begin the season last week, Ortega also had a 25 yard run, a 40 yard catch. Yeah. I mean, we really haven't seen what typical Fort Morgan football is all about was sustained drives. Right, yeah, with the, you know, run it down your throat type of a thing. Right. So far, the running game really hasn't been there. The Lutheran is, has uh, plugged it up pretty good, as Kevin said. They're bringing eight guys into the, you know, up to the line of scrimmage, basically. And I get that Lutheran's down by 17 points, but they've completely abandoned the running game. They have not ran once, what, in like three drives? Well, see, they were down 15 to nothing last week at the end of the first quarter, 22 to 22 to 3 at, the, at halftime, so right. that well, might be why they were doing a lot of passing. 
They have less than 10 yards rushing on seven carries. That's the reason. Yes, sir. Second down and nine for the 48. And the receiver on the left side, the inside receiver moved. Andre Norman took off. So that's going to go against Lutheran. And again, both sides have shown at times that they're not totally crisp on offense. But again, Fort Morgan's had the big play. So now it's second down at 14 from their own 43-yard line. Mustangs had a 9-0 lead after one. And again, are two for two this season on two-point conversions. And they're going for it very randomly. You never know when yeah. to go, go for two. On second and 14, three-step drop, pressure coming. The throw towards the middle is caught. The short gain out to midfield as Connor Fajardo makes the tackle on Eric Cumley. The gain is going to go for seven yards. If yeah, Fajardo had a chance there to maybe light him up a little bit, but he went for the sure hand and hold him and make sure that we, you know, he got there, got him down, and a great job by yep. Fajardo. Third down and seven from midfield. Nick Moss again rolls out to his right. He's got some room. He throws on the run. That pass is going to be incomplete. Well defended by Moy at the 40-yard line. Thrown behind the intended receiver. No attack. It'll be fourth and seven. And boy, if Lutheran yeah, it, wants to play field position, they would punt the football. Are they going to take another chance? Because it didn't help them no, on their first good. drive of the game. Yeah, they're going to punt. punt. I going to say that would just, you know, with 328, giving Fort Morgan the ball that close, that would just seal it if Fort Morgan would stop them and get a score. So they're going to... It almost looked like he was open. looked like he could almost run for that first down on that right. other side. But it's hard to tell from our vantage point. Well, unless this punt is short, I'm not sure that Moyer or Ortega will feel this. A high snap and the heavy rush and nearly blocked there by Cardona. And it's caught there along the sideline by Moy at the 20. And then he's upended at the 23-yard line. Tackled by Jack Whittaker. Well, nearly some taunting there at the end of the play. And the Mustangs will have it at their own 23-yard line. For those of you sitting at home enjoying the game, uh, here at Lutheran, they have put temporary bleachers on about the 20, 25-yard line on both ends of Fort Morgan side out on the track. And so the fans are right there behind the team. And so the refs can hear the fans now. Let's see if Fort Morgan has another big play in them at some point with 3.18 to go in the second. Handoff, Hamer, stutter steps back towards the middle, and he drives to the 25 for a gain of three. Second down and seven to go. The tackle was made by Taylor Luttrell, who is a junior. Still pretty, pretty tough running up the middle. Well, Hamer does not have a double-digit carry in terms of yardage tonight. Again, out of the pistol. Second down and seven from the 25-yard line. Linker will keep the football, and he dances his way to the 30-yard line. Gain of five. Operating off of left tackle is Isaac Linker. He's got five carries now for 23 yards. Fort Morgan ha has two timeouts remaining third down and less than two to go at the 26. Linker again as the football. He's going to take off with the football and he's going to try to break a tackle and cannot. He's going to get back maybe to the line of scrimmage and he does at the 26 yard line and now Lutheran's going to call a timeout fourth down and two and Fort Morgan's got a punt with 2.06 to go. So we'll see what they did Lutheran call that timeout? Yes. Yeah, they did. Well, yeah, I mean it yeah. makes sense because uh they're down by now more than two scores. I mean, that's the benefit of making that two point conversion is that Lutheran's got to score three times right. just to take the lead. So they've got one timeout remaining with two oh six to go in the second quarter, and the Mustangs up seventeen to nothing. Fort Morgan has allowed just one score so far. In nearly six quarters this year, that was Nick Wellen's long run for Brush in the third quarter last week in Brush. And that was one where they just caught us in a blitz and caught we blitzed the, out of the right. hole and didn't have anyone home after that. 
you know, we can talk about the two big plays tonight, but Frankie Ortega has done a tremendous job punting the ball. Yep. There's no question about it. I mean, when you punted it, what, five or six times and there's no return yardage, right? I mean, you're doing a great job. Yeah, they're keeping it out of the hands of their returner. I don't know what kind of return yards they had last week, but. That's Andre Norman back deep to receive. Ortega standing at his own 16-yard line, 15 yards behind center. High snap, but he chases it down, and he gets it off high end over, and Norman calls for a fair catch, and he's got it. Football spotted along the side. Let's see, 38-yard line. Again, we have a very poor view here. That's some good composure by the freshman there to have a high snap and still get off a, a nice 30 yard or so punt. Yeah, but it went for 34 yards. If it's at the 35, that's what the scoreboard says. First and 10. Fort Morgan came up with three fumbles last week. They're looking for their first interception, which part of the nickel package Brian was talking about. Man in motion to the right is Garcia on first and ten. Looking to his right, the slant is incomplete. Intended for Norman, but it looked like he didn't go all the way through on the slant. It'll be second down. And ten to go at the 35. Somebody's down here on the sideline. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're calling for a doctor. Second down and ten. In fact, the game has been stopped. Huh. The game has been stopped. So let's take a break. A minute 56 to go. We'll give you an update here momentarily. Second down and ten for Lutheran at their own 35-yard line. The score is Fort Morgan 17, Lutheran nothing. It's a three-minute break on B106. B106.com and live on the TuneIn app. I'm not sure what happened, but the freshman, Briggs Wheatley, was down flat on his back. And he was being attend attended to, and he got back up. And this was on the sideline. He was not part of the action. Second down and 10 for the 35. Lutheran football, their own side of the field. Quick drop. Throw out to the left is complete along the sideline. And the ball is fumbled, and the Mustangs, I believe, have it. Right in front of the Mustang bench. We can't see it, or are they well, going he's the other way with it? Bounds. Yeah. So he stepped out of bounds before he dropped the ball. Yeah, Cumley caught the football. And it's marked at the 41. It's a gain of six. 17th pass thrown by Moss. Third down and four. Quick throw out to the right. It is caught underneath. That's a first down along the sideline. Let's see if that's Garcia. We got a late flag. That is Garcia, but there are two flags thrown in that area. So that one's not going to be a first down. That should be coming back. It was clear that the uh, blocker, the wide receiver that came up to block, was had his hands outside of the shoulder pads and was wrangling with them. So. Yeah, would have gone for a gain of about ten. And most importantly, sustain their drive. And I'm telling you, back. this first half has been very tough to watch. It is. It's just it's so many penalties. And they don't seem to handle the penalties as quickly. Yeah, it's almost like a college game where, where there's a penalty, they've got to review it. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Here. No, that's the other thing. Just I mean, call it, march it off, and let's play football. Well, they just did it there, but that has not been the pattern in the first half as Kevin Rohde looks at his watch. Been an 8 12. Out. Been an hour. Yeah, yeah. Hour That's if you're minutes. listening live. If you're listening on the replay, it's closer to past midnight. Yep. <laughs> All right, now the football is going to be backtracked at the 40, so it only accounts for a one yard loss. And Fort Morgan calls their second timeout. Here's the other thing if you hold them, do you try to, uh, do you try to Come. score? I mean, it, well. You're going to try to score with, with your big play formula. Right, right. Like they did on their previous two touchdowns, on their only two touchdowns of the game. All right, so we have 102 seconds to go. It, it might take 102 years to get that far, considering <laughs> how slow this first half has gone. The Mustangs lead Lutheran 17 to nothing. You can follow us on Twitter at B106, as well as the 
B106.com or B106 Facebook page. Looks like they called that holding so far downfield that it's only going to end up being third and five. Right, right. yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's essentially a one-yard loss. So, yeah, give it, give it uh, nine yards there for Garcia. So the yardage still counts. Garcia's had a good first half. Five catches for 44 yards. And 10 out of 18 is Moss for 74 yards. Third down and five for the 40. Play will resume. Back to throw. Pressure coming up the middle. Moss is now going to roll out to his right. Throw it deep up the side. And it's incomplete interference on Fort Morgan. Donovan Moya did not turn around. He interfered on the receiver. No attack at the 30-yard line of Lutheran. And the drive will continue for the Lions. Well, that might have been a good play from his yeah. perspective because if he didn't know how far the guy was and the guy catches it and goes in for a touchdown, that's Yeah, worse. it's only a... It's only a penalty. It's a penalty from the line of scrimmage. Right. He was five down. yards. He was beat by five yards. That was a horrible throw. And, it was. It was severely underthrown. So now the football will be at the forty-five yard line. But again, I mean, the number of penalties. There's been. I can't. I haven't even been able to keep track of all of them. But we're we're seeing about. I believe it's about fifteen combined penalties here in the opening half. And that should place the football at the Fort Morgan forty-five yard line. A minute oh, thirty-five. They're, they're signaling third down. Yeah. I don't know. What? Oh. No, 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 no. It's first and it's 10 at the 45. Yeah. They're marking it off. Right. I don't know why he was telling everybody third down. Yeah, I don't either. He keeps giving the weird signals, this official on this. Well, end. and the chain gang, they got to move the chains up. And you wonder how. <laughs> that's the other end of it, too. Yeah. It's like there's no communication or limited communication. First and 10. Lutheran at the Fort Morgan 45-yard line. Again out of the pistol. Pass out in the left flat. Is caught by Garcia. Stutter stepping towards the sideline, and he's out of bounds. Knocked out of bounds by Fajardo after a short game. Fajardo's having a great game on defense out there. Yeah. Langford's yeah. got him out there isolated. He's on an island with that those receivers, and he's made several sure-handed tackles. Well, Ty Davies said this would be a long night, and it's a long night so far. A gain of four. Second down and six for the 41. Clock stopped again. Garcia's in motion to the right. There's the snap. Moss, quick drop, throws out to his right, caught by Garcia. Back to the inside, then he's tackled by Linker across the 40 to the 39-yard line, but that's a pretty good gainer there. And... It's going to be short of a first down to the 38. Another gain around the same amount. Third down and about two or three to go at the 38. Quick drop, slant, caught. First down to the 35. Ball is loose, and it's going to be recovered by Lutheran, but the ball was fumbled backwards, so now it's going to be fourth and one. That ball was fumbled backwards after it was caught over there. I'm not sure who caught that. I think it was Tack. All right, now it's fourth down. And two to go at the 37. It would have been a first down. And they're just letting the clock run out. 20 seconds to go. And now they call a timeout. Their last timeout with 19. So maybe... Well, I don't think that's a, I don't think that's bad strategy because you're still you're not that close, right. and if you call a timeout with 45, 50 seconds to go, you get Fort Morgan some time with that big playability here. Yeah. Fort Morgan, if if they stop, will more than likely would be content just to right. sit on the clock and just take a knee, especially up by 17. That's what I'm thinking. Is Fort Morgan's not going to take a risk of turning it over? You know, go in up three scores, so. But they're probably going to take one shot at the end zone here. And I don't know. Yeah, well, no, that's... And what I'm worried about is they've had a lot of those quick hitters and those screens, you know, the outside screens. I'm expecting them to turn and fake that. Pump it, yeah. And then the guy who was going up to block just slips by and burns yeah. the steep well, touchdown. So. Remember, in high school football, the clock does stop momentarily for a first down. That's true. So if they get a first down, they... You, you spike it. And then you'd still have time. You'd still have at least nine or ten seconds. Yeah, you would think on a quick hitter. 
Fourth down and two from the 37-yard line. The Mustangs with a 17-0 lead, 19 seconds to go. Second quarter, trips to the left. The lone setback is Landon Latino. One receiver out to the right. Norman is in motion now to the right. Nick Moss, deep drop, looking to throw. Pressure coming, wiggles out of it, and he's going to be sacked. He is sacked back at the 39. Jesus Villalobos. Hold on, gentlemen. Hey, you got, I, I know I'm short. You got to give me some high fives, too, man. Oh, I'm sorry, Brian. That was a miss there. That's still not good. I mean, one more. There you go. But with you, for us, it's like My a bad. medium five, not a high five. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Boy, did I just get drilled verbally. All right. Nice job there, though. Oh. Coach Thirsty. Langford brought up the, he did. Brought up the uh, pass rush and the blitz. And well, luckily, they made better contact than I did with you. <laughs> yes, I missed a sure. few times. All right, now the Mustangs will take a knee here to close out the opening half. A long first half time-wise, but a very productive one on the scoreboard for Fort Morgan at the 39-yard line. So that went essentially for a, a two-yard loss on that sack. Unofficially the fourth sack by the Mustangs, and that's the end of the opening half. We finally got there with the score. Fort Morgan 17, Lutheran nothing. It's a two-minute break on B106 and B106.com. John Beltran back with Brian Nickel and Kevin Rohde here in Parker where the Mustangs about to start the third quarter, lead the Lutheran Lions by a score of 17 to nothing. Our sound engineer and producer tonight is Herrick Curtis, and the Mustangs are... 24 minutes away from improving to 2-0. and And you look at 137 yards of total offense, and two of those, two of those plays have gone for 87 yards. So not exactly, not exactly uh, the performance, I think, that we expected. But yet, if you look at the score, that's why scores, Kevin and Brian, can be very deceiving. Because you think 17 nothing, and uh, I think the dominance is definitely showing on the defensive side. But on the offensive side, I mean, there's certainly room for improvement, so to speak. I would agree with that. I think, uh, I think that uh, Fort Morgan offensively is just not walking consistently. Lutheran's putting a lot of people up in the middle, and Fort Morgan hasn't solved that. I'm hoping that half the coaches got together and talked about that, talked to the players, find out where they're landing up. And maybe we can... Uh, Maybe run outside, uh, do a little more uh, misdirection since they're over over pursuing, and I think that might help. Well, that's what happened when they scored that second touchdown. It was a complete over pursuit and a misread, and you know, they put Jacob Ortega in motion, brought him back. And Ortega was going right, and yeah. the defense followed him, and. Hamer went out the left side, and he was wide open. Well, they know what Ortega did last week, and Hamer has not been part of the passing game at all until that one play. Yeah. Right. And quite frankly, that was that was just a nice toss there by Linker. And all JP had to do was squeeze it, and after that, it was him running towards the end zone, and that was executed perfectly. All right, the Mustangs will receive the second-half kickoff. A proud supporter of all the area athletes is Mr. D's Ace Home Center. They serve you with all of your home farm and ranch supplies with three locations, Sterling Brush and Fort Morgan. Mr. D's Ace Home Center. And it seems like it's taking forever to get the teams out. The clock set, the officials yeah. are out there, and the teams are standing around. So. I was just thinking the same thing, Kevin, but I wanted one of you two to complain before I did. Yeah. You bet. Yeah. <laughs> And it's really not a complaint, actually. What you're, what you're saying is a statement of fact. Right. I mean, the first half took long enough. and <laughs> I, I think it's in the inflection if I said, well, there's still a help there. Right, that, that's a good there, point. Be a but if this were mid to late October or November, oh. Oh, yeah. we might not be as happy because uh, we wouldn't have the pleasant temperature with right. now it being in the upper 50s at this point. And now... Two Mustangs are back. Moya and Ortega at the 10-yard line. And again, we don't have the number. We don't have the name of who's wearing 47 for Lutheran, who is kicking it off to begin the second half. And 
watch out. They they could pull anything at this point down 17 like an onside kick. Nope, this one is booted oh, high no. and deep. What a leg. And he boots that one nine yards into the end zone. Essentially, that's a 69-yard kickoff. Right. Well, and of course, that's the first time we've seen him kick on the tee. No, he kicked off on after the, the what you call it after the safety. safety. First and ten for the Mustangs at their own 20-yard line. How about chewing up a good five or six minutes here and taking some time off the clock? Yeah, that that would yeah. be my uh, my choice. Well, I, I think it's the coach's choice as well because they realize you got a 17-point lead and you played excellent defense, but you can give your defense a rest at least with the non-two-way players by moving the football out of the pistol. Handoff, Hamer off, right tackle, and he's hit at the line of scrimmage, maybe behind the line of scrimmage. No, they're going to mark him at the 20, and there was nothing on that right side at all, and no attack. And Landon Latino in on the play. Hamer now with 11 carries for only 27 yards. Second down and 10. Mustangs up to the line of scrimmage. Two receivers out to the left. Nobody's out to the right. Just the tight end, Adam Cardona. On second down, Linker. Only three and a half yards behind center. He's going to spin to his left, roll out to his left. He sets, throws it along, along the sideline. It's incomplete into the Lutheran bench at the 45-yard line. Ortega was blanketed over there by J.J. Smolin. Third down and 10. Linker now two out of nine. And that's one big drawback to the uh, pistol or shotgun formation is there's no such thing as a quick hitter. And that's really what we need right now is, well, if it was last year, we'd have Hoeknadl going off tackle on a quick dive because they're having time to read the blocks and get to the hole before Hamer gets to the line. Well, maybe you got to set up a screen, something to get this defense off balance. Third down and 10 from the 20-yard line. Linker. Oh, that was nearly in the neutral zone. Back to throw. Linker, pressure coming backside. He's hit as he throws, and it's going to drop and complete at the 18-yard line. He was hit on the back of his right arm, and luckily his arm was going forward. If not, he could have been stripped, and it's fourth down, and the Mustangs will have to punt. Not a good start for the Mustangs. No. They ate up only 50 seconds of clock, and Lutheran will get the ball immediately here in the third. And Lutheran, with that passing offense, has the potential to score in a hurry. So, I, you know, we need to make sure that we're not complacent and, and just think that we have this thing under control. Frankie Ortega Lock awaiting nine. the snap at his own six-yard line. And that's a high snap. Again, Ortega chases it down, and he gets it off. And it's going to be fielded. And right there, there's a fumble. Or is he fumbled? No, he just fell on the ball. Well, that was fielded by Max Rifkin, it looked like. And then he was hit immediately at the 46-yard line. I thought he might have been stripped. He was, but he fell. It bounced right back right. into his belly as he fell down. I thought so. maybe they could have, might have called uh, interference. You know, they didn't give him. Yeah, they didn't give him much. Uh, I yeah. actually, I thought it probably was interference because you got to give him the opportunity to catch the ball and then do something with it. But right. the Mustangs right there to make the play, and that punt went for 26 yards. But again, he's had two poor snaps to him, and Ortega's come down with the football very nicely. First and ten, the official. Spot is at the 47-yard line of Fort Morgan. Trips to the left, and they're all bunched in tightly to the left. Moss looking. A fly pattern down the right side, incomplete. Not even close there. Andre Norman, well defended and well overthrown. Donovan Moyer right there at the 22-yard line. On that little fade, I should say, second down and 10. And Moyer has now attempted 22 passes in the game, 13 of 22 for 85 yards. Yeah, he just he just stepped back and just heaved that. He wasn't that wasn't even a timing play or anything. Yep. Second down and ten. Remember Moya had a pick six last year against Silver Creek. Get in there, defense! At the forty seven of Fort Morgan. Two receivers this time to the left. Moss, slant, complete, right over the middle. Down to the forty, maybe the thirty nine. That's called by no attack. And it's a gain of eight. Third down and two to go for Lutheran. Yeah, let's see if they run the ball. They not doing much of that, as we've mentioned. Third down again, pass out in the left flat. 
That is caught, and then no attack making a move to the middle, and he's got a first down. Actually, that could be Garcia. It is Garcia, and he's still down, getting up slowly to gain a five to the 34-yard line. Almost looks like maybe he pulled a hamstring there. Hey, he's going to try to stay in the game, but I don't know how. He can barely get up. First and ten for Maybe Lutheran. Took a shot. On the left side of the Fort Morgan 34-yard line. This is some of their deeper penetration in the game. Moss is going to roll out to his right. And he throws on the run towards the sideline. That pass is going to be caught at about the 12. And that is no attack. And it's a gain of 22 and a first down in the red zone for the Lutheran Lions. And he was well defended on the play, but he went up like a jump ball and came down with it. Right. Yep. First and 10 for the Fort Morgan 12. Trips to the left. Lining up on the right hash mark. Moss back to throw. Over the middle, the pass is caught for a short gain by Tack. And he stretches the football out to the 9. He was tackled there by Caden Edson. Second down and 7 yards to go for no attack. That's his 6th catch of the game. And Moss, so far, four for four in the second half yep. for 39 yards. Second down and eight to go. Make it seven from the nine. Moss awaiting the football. Low snap. Snap, slant, tipped, incomplete. Intended for Norman at the three, but it was a high throw. Fort Morgan coaches had that one called. They decided to go out and double him. And they're probably wishing that that, double, that second defender had stepped up and picked that one. Yep. Well, with all the sacks that Fort Morgan had in the opening half, keep in mind that Norman's just grabbing the football. He might pump for a second and throw, and that's about it. They're not allowing the Fort Morgan defenders to get to the quarterback, and it's not necessarily because of the blocking, but because of the quick decision-making. Latino, the lone setback, third down. And seven to go for the Fort Morgan nine-yard line. Tack is in motion to the right. And Moss is going to roll that way. Backside pressure from DePriest. Throws on the run towards the middle. Caught. Back of the end zone. Touchdown. Nine yards out. It's a touchdown. Touchdown. Williams. And Devante Street makes the catch in the back of the end zone. And Lutheran. Scores for the first time in the game. And Devontae Street makes his first catch of the game. Their adjustment is getting him outside of that pocket and scrambling and then throwing back across the middle. Now the extra point. To be attempted. Snap is low and the kick is right into the ground. Right into the line. It's no good. We have 9.16 to go. We're in the third quarter. It's Fort Morgan 17, Lutheran 6 on B106 and B106.com. Kevin Rohde mentioned that with this offense that Lutheran brings, that they can score in a hurry, and they did. Just two minutes and 44 seconds into the third. And it's now 17-6 to on the nine-yard touchdown pass from Nick Boss to Devontae Street. In the back of the end zone, Fort Morgan had backside pressure, but it was not there in time. And now the kickoff. It's going to be booted all the way towards the three, fielded by Ortega to the 10, along the left side to the 15, now tackled at the 18. Now this team's getting fired up, and Street was yep. in on the hit. Yep. Momentum has shifted. Well, the only way it's going to go back in Fort Morgan's direction is to take some time off the clock, even if they don't score. Fort Morgan had the ball for less than 50 seconds. Right. First and 10 for Fort Morgan at their own 19-yard line. 9.09 to go in the third. They lead 17 to 6. From the pistol, Isaac Linker.
play action. Rolling out. He's getting backside pressure. He's going to throw on the run, and that is going to be incomplete towards Moya Boy. at the 31-yard line. Let me tell you, uh, Linker's been harassed here in this third quarter on more than one occasion. Yep. And on that one, he escaped the pressure. He had a couple hands on him, and he just outran it. Ran through the tackle, or I should say. And Isaac Linker, 2 out of 11 now. Mustangs have very little of a running game, and the passing game has been limited. Trying to figure this thing out. Second down and 10 from the 19. The lone setback is J.P. Hamer. On second down, hand off to Hamer, stutter stepping, and he's got a yard to the 20, and that's it. Nothing there for Fort Morgan. Landon Latino, one of the Lutheran Lions, in on the play. 12 carries for only 28 yards for the senior Hamer, who was well over 100 a week ago. On third and nine for the 20. In there for Fort Morgan in the slot is Ernie Sandoval, a sophomore. On that left side, on third and nine, Linker, three-step drop, looks, throws over the middle. Boy, that's a terrible pass. Way behind Donovan Moya at the 35. And I think I think Isaac's starting to feel the pressure. Yeah. You know, because, I mean, he has been pressured here. And that one, he's normally on the marker, close to on the mark. And that one was about two yards behind Moya. And Fort Morgan's got a punt. To a hot team with some momentum. It'll be fourth down, and Frankie Ortega has been a huge weapon on special teams. And again, Fort Morgan did not even take up a minute on that possession. Two possessions, and they took up less than a minute on both of them. Snap off to the right there. He gets it off. End over end. Fair catch for Norman, and he's got it in very good field position near midfield. Yeah, this game is far from over. 8-13 to go, third quarter. Fort Morgan leads by 11, 17-6. to six. With, the le with the leg of their uh, field goal kicker, the guy who kicked it out of the end zone, yeah, if he would have made that extra point, they'd only be a touchdown and a field goal away from tying it, but that missed extra point's going to put a little more pressure on them. Like a good neighbor, Greg Mullen and his team are there at State Farm Insurance to make the insurance world easy for you. Call them 842-4555. First down and 10 from midfield for Lutheran. They scored on their first possession here in the third quarter. From the pistol formation, Nick Moss on the slant attack, complete across the 45 to the 41. It's a gain of nine. Second down and one. Alex Ortega, the senior, made the tackle, but again, this offense is starting to function very well for Lutheran. Seventh catch for Tack. On second down, this will be a handoff on the right side and close to a first down is, I believe that is uh, Latino it is. Gain of just one before Okanet on a couple of other Mustangs were around the football. Only a second carry of the game. Call it third or first? Okay, it's first. There we go. First down. First and ten for the 40. Trips to the left. Man in motion to the right is no attack. Nick Moss with a five-step drop. He throws to the left side. It's incomplete. Broken up by Fajardo at the 35 off that toss. It was intended for Cumley. Second down and ten. Boy, they needed that badly because so far in this half, this quarterback... Comley is 6 out of 8 for 56 yards. He's carving up that Fort Morgan defense. And we haven't touched them. Where first half we were Well, pressuring again, him. but they're making quicker decisions. I right. mean, it's very hard to get to the quarterback when he's getting the football, and he's either backpedaling quickly or throwing the ball very quickly right out of his hand. And there is the shovel pass there to Andre Norman off the snap, and he is clobbered as he tried to execute up the right sideline, and he got hit after a very short gain. Maybe he might have even lost a yard. It was Hamer on that one. Yep, Hamer with a big hit. That's a loss of one. J.P. Hamer with an excellent defensive play.
It'll be third down and 11 to go for the 42. In Fort Morgan territory. Mustangs lead 17 to 6. Three receivers to the left. Moss back to throw. Pressure coming. The pass up the middle is going to be caught by Tech. And that's a first down to the 29. It's a gain of 13. A perfect pass thrown. Yep. Good defense. He was right on. Moss. Yeah, he laid that right in there where, he, where the defender couldn't get to it. Eight catches for 68 yards for no attack. First and 10 for the Mustang, 29. 6.19 to go in the third. Again, trips to the left. Low snap. Moss throws it out to the left. It's caught by Cumley for a short gain. But then he spun down. Fajardo tackled him forward. And he could have been held to a much shorter gain. Instead, he's got six to the 23. Second down and four. We're under six minutes to go in the third. And Lutheran has had very good field position and they've taken advantage of it so far from the 23. Nick Moss will hand it off on the right side. That's a big hole for Arnold to the 20. Inside the 20 towards the 19. Very close to a first down. He was tackled by Isaac Linker. Well, it looks like a first down from here. It is a gain of four. They're going to bring out the sticks, or they're going to give it to him. They call it third and wow. inches. I mean, inches. That's no. I mean, that's a credit it. card. I mean, that's that gave it to him. First down. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah, it was right there. Inside the red yep. zone once again at the 19. Mustangs got to figure things out now. They're still up by 11. But it's first and 10 for Lutheran at the Fort Morgan 19-yard line. A good time for an interception. Right. Three receivers once again out to the left. Nick Moss is going to roll that way. Backside pressure throws it on the run towards the end zone. Incomplete. Oh, that went through the hands of the intended receiver Garcia defended by Edson. But that was a pretty darn good throw there by Moss. Yeah, that probably should have been a touchdown. Yeah, it was right there. He's, he's right on with these passes the second half. Second down and 10 to go for the Mustang, 19. Oh, they kick a field goal. It's a one-score game That's if right. Fort Morgan yep. can hold them. Checking back into the game is Dorian Pacheco. Low snap, pass out in the left flat, and caught! And right there is Connor Fajardo to make the tackle on Garcia. It's a loss of four to the 23. Fajardo read that beautifully and made the stick on Garcia. I mean, they've been throwing out that pass in the flat, that wide receiver screen, and that time it didn't work. Yeah, it takes a long time to get out there. I thought maybe he's going to be here for the interception. A market at the 22, third down and 13. I don't think it's four down territory here unless it's fourth and very short because they do have a kicker with a strong leg. On third down, Nick Moss, straight drop, pressure up the middle, pass up the middle, incomplete. Oh boy, very close there. J.P. Hamer defended. No attack. Yeah, they're gonna call. Are they gonna call interference? No. Yep. No. Well, let's see. No, no, I'm, I'm looking at the others. official in the middle. Oh, he's just asking for the football. Yeah. Okay, no, no, no attack is calling. Right, right. But the, then I saw the official do this. He was just calling right, for the football. Right. Yeah, we'll go. But this oh. isn't for surety if they if they don't get the snap any better than they had on the extra right. point. Right. Good point. This will be a 38-yard field goal attempt off the left hash. Again, we don't have the name of the kicker because... He's wearing 47. We were not given a roster with a 47 on it. Off the hold of Moss. From 37 yards away. The snap is there. The Moss. kick is blocked. The ball is loose. It is still loose. Picked up by Moya at the 40. Moya is tackled from behind. In Lutheran territory. Inside the 30. To about the 29 yard line. I'm not sure who blocked it. But a couple of Mustangs came through. It was a low kick. And Fort Morgan has made another play. Looks like Lugenberg is on there. Uh, 
they're uh, patting on the shoulder pads. Yeah. Well, he's tall enough to block it from the line of screen. Yeah. <laughs> well, he, I don't he, he didn't have to jump. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that, you were talking about the bad snap, and I don't know if the snap was that bad, but he snap kicked it low. Perfect. Yeah, he and, did kick uh, it low. Yeah. And what a huge uh, play by defense to get some momentum back. Well, this has changed the game completely now. That could have been a one-score game. Now the Mustangs, instead of having the ball at the 20, had the field goal been missed, all of a sudden are 55, making 45 yards the other way. First and 10 from the Luthan 35-yard line. Linker is back to throw. He's got time. He heaves it deep up the left side, and that's going to be broken up. I think it was broken up more by Ortega than it was yeah. by the Lutheran guy. He did. Yeah. He did because the Lutheran defender had position. The ball was underthrown. Yeah, Linker's not. He's kind of doubting himself on his throws now and, and just not feeling as well, comfortable with it. I mean, he's 2 out of 13. He's thrown five consecutive incompletions. And that happens with even good quarterbacks. Yeah. You lose the rhythm. And they might have to just run a, a different type of pass play because that fade is not working except for the one touchdown. That was early on in the game. Second down and 10 for the 35-yard line. 3.55 to go in the third. Fort Morgan 17, Lutheran 6. Hand off to Hamer, stutter stepping. And he might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. I mean... There's nothing there for Fort Morgan. He actually squeezed out a yard and a half. I think we need to open up the playbook a little bit more and come up with some running plays maybe a little different uh, or even some play action where we fake that run and then throw it. Ryan Crow made the tackle. Go back to uh, Ortega sweeping around the side. We ran that twice and they stopped it, but you know, let's keep trying it. Third down and they gave him a couple of yards, just shy of 33. Third down and eight, but this feels like third and 20 the way Fort Morgan has struggled on offense. Two seconds on the play clock. They get it off. Play action rolling out to his right. The pass is caught underneath along the sideline, and that should be a first down. And the catch was nice. made. Let's see. That's not Ortega. Uh, that's 21, I think, maybe. That's that's what I'm looking at right now. Yeah, that, that pass was caught over there by Alex, Alex Ortega. Ortega. Yeah. Yep. It is a first down. That's Boy, a excellent play. play call, yeah. and he's down. Are they going to say the 16-yard line? Yep. 17 yards on the connection. And there is Linker off the right side with the quarterback keeper. He dies for a few yards. Just that one play has given Fort Morgan some momentum. Oh, was that? Uh, no, that, no was that was the quarterback, yeah. Gain of three to about the 14. Linker again, stutter stepping, running to his right, still on his feet. And yeah, the ball might be loose. Yeah, I think the ball is loose because the officials are stopping the play. I don't think it's a first down. It's going to stay with Fort Morgan. That ball is at around the 10 yard line, I believe. They're still unpiling the bodies. Yeah, Linker has the football, so if he fumbled it, he, he recovered his own fumble. And it's got to be. Oh, they're saying third down and one at the 12. How can that be right? All right, so that'd be giving him six yards. Oh, it's at the nine. Okay, that makes sense. At the nine, third and one at the nine yard line. Are they going to give it to J.P. Hamer here on the third and one? Linker has it. Linker hands off to Hamer. Off left tackle, and he's close to a first down. They haven't stopped. Oh, they're not calling. Yep, they're going to say that's yeah, first, uh, down. first down. He, I didn't see him wave to stop the clock. No. Well, they're going to give him the seven-yard line, so it's officially a gain of two. Clock is winding. Well, it's supposed to wind, but they're not winding it upstairs. Somebody's falling asleep on the wheel. Yeah. They're not winding that clock. It should be wound. He's going to tear his shoulder, the official is. <laughs> First down and goal at the seven. Linker out of the pistol formation. And we've got a flag. We haven't seen too many flags here. Yep. Now this one's a mystery because he's telling the official rather than signaling. It's not a delay of game. No, it didn't come no. from the bag judge. Uh, legal procedure, maybe. That will be yeah. out. It's a false start. 
against Fort Morgan. So first and goal oh, now for the 12. 2.08 to go in the third. What a huge Why did this uh, drive start, Brian? Because, well, I mean, they're still, they're still not eating up a lot of clock, but it doesn't matter. They yeah. Move the ball down the field. So not even two minutes off the clock. It just felt a little bit longer because they did pick up a first down. Yep. Now they're going to say the spot is the 11. So I guess maybe they weren't at the 7. They were at the 6. I mean, we're about 70 yards away from the action. On first and goal from the 11, Isaac Linker, back to throw. Plenty of protection, steps to his right, now rolls out, now takes off with the football to the 5, towards the pylon, and that is a Fort Morgan. No. No, he's out of bounds. Nope, close to the end zone, but he didn't get it. Down at around the 2 or 3, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Well, I thought he had all types of running room, yeah, yeah. and he did, but I guess the gap was closed quickly. He got to the one. It's a gain of 10 for Linker, and all of a sudden, Linker's picking up valuable yardage on this drive. Second down and goal from the one. Linker from the pistol has the football, stutter steps, and he's not into the end zone. He tried to run it off the left side, and Lutheran was right there. I think we need to keep running to the right side. That's where we're seeming to have the most success. Well, he lost a yard. Yep. Brody Schneider made the hit. Third down and goal from the two. Timeout, Fort Morgan. Yeah, James Hokanottle is a little hobbled there. Timeout is brought to you by Western Engineering Consultants. Engineering and consulting services for all of your projects. Strong commitment to their clients sets them apart and their clients' needs. Get your projects started the right way. Western Engineering Consultants. The Mustangs lead 17 to 6 with a minute 38 to go in the third. Still not a long drive. It started at the 35 yard line, but who cares at this point? At least you have some momentum. Right. But now, what is going to be the play call to get into the end zone and get back to perhaps a 16 or 17 point lead? And do you want to keep it in the middle so that you can kick that field goal if you don't make it? Or is it four down territory? I think it's four down territory because they're at the two yard line. Yeah. I mean, do you really want to attempt a 19 or 20 yard field goal? I think, right. I think I think the way they're plugging up that middle, I think you fake that handoff into Hamer, and Linker keeps it and rolls out. Right, either that or you go with that. Um, yeah, you take in motion, yeah. and you know run it to the outside because they're going to all be packing inside, and just let Ortega and his natural ability beat one guy out there. Third down and goal from the two yard line. This was all set up by a blocked field goal. It was picked up by Donovan Moya. And he was able to return it to the 35. And that shifted field position 45 yards in the other direction. Both teams are back on the field. Jesus Villalobos is lining up on that right slot. To the left of Linker's Hamer. He's under center and a quarterback sneak, but I don't think he's, he's got it. He ball. might have, yeah, he did lose control of the football, but he landed on it at about the one. Well, they tried to oh, quick stab it. it. Oh, no. Are they going to say Lutheran came away with the ball? I mean, somebody for Lutheran picked it up, but I thought, I thought Linker fell on it. He fell on it, and then I think, yep. oh, they oh, gave, they it, gave it to Lutheran at the one-yard line. I thought he fell on it, and then he just let go of the ball. But that's the thing. You're not used to yeah. yep. under snapping from under center. Yep. Get another safety defense! Uh, that would be nice if they could get that safety again. Yep. And that's Fort Morgan's first turnover of the season. Mm -hmm. So first down and 10 for Lutheran at their own one-yard line. Wow. Well, we've had two game-changing plays here in the third quarter. Because Fort Morgan could have cemented it. Even though we're still in the third quarter. Trips to the left. And Moss has got to get rid of this football very, very quickly. At their own one, he's three yards deep into the end zone. Moss back to throw. Out to his left. Incomplete and nearly picked off. It was off the hands of Garcia. And they're nearly tipped into a Fort Morgan defender's hands. That was the 37th pass attempt for Nick Moss. 
And it looks like maybe a cramp on uh, 45 there, running back. That went in motion on that one. Just second. Yep, second down and 10. At the one yard line. This is Morgan County's B106, KPRB, Brush Fort Morgan, John Beltran with Brian Nickel and Kevin Rohde. On second down, Moss in the end zone, deep drop. He's getting pressure, throws it deep up the right oh, side. Intercepted! It's picked up by Donovan Moya at the 15-yard line. Moya still on his feet, and he's down. Didn't have much running room once he picked it off. But the Mustangs come up with an interception. Ryan, that was one of your keys in a nickel yep. package. Yep. Yep. I thought maybe they could. I thought they might throw a flag there for pass interference. It looked like they had hit him first, but... But no. it was way over his head. Yeah. Oh, yeah, was that? He, okay. he had no chance for it. There was just an overthrown ball that went right to the defender. First and ten for the Mustangs. Now let's see if they can put this into the end zone with a minute ten to go at the 14-yard line of the Lions. Isaac Linker with two receivers out to his left. He's going to hand it off to Hamer on the right side. He's still on his feet. Breaking tackles. Carrying defenders. And all of a sudden inside the 10 to the 5. And he is going to score. Holy Mahungus. From 14 yards away. What a run. Hamer scores. And the Mustangs lead 23 to 6. I mean that was all turn. the senior. J.P. Hamer. He put his mind down. He put his mind down. He put his foot down, and he had his mindset that he was going in for that touchdown. I think he was getting a little assistance from his offensive line, but it was boy, but not oh, not man. that much. He did a lot of the work on his own, and now this will be the extra point attempted by Adam Cardona. Even still, the blocking there was not phenomenal. Yeah. He just needed a seam. Hamer doesn't need much with all that speed. And the extra point by Cardona is up and good. We have 56 seconds to go in the third. We'll stay right here. Fort Morgan has the lead by 18 points. And I think probably what happened on that play is Lutheran's trying to strip the ball, so instead of taking Hamer to the ground, they got four guys around him, and they're trying to rip on it. He holds on tight, and the line get down there and basically just move the pile in. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, they, they should have went for his legs instead of his arms. Yep. But we'll take it. Yes, we will. Well, it's a desperate team right now. Lutheran is considering now they're down by 18 points with less than a minute to go. And they're going to have to start putting, trying to go more downfield, which hopefully we can get some more pressure on them and get some sacks and get a turnover and end this thing. Yep. Yeah, it was uh, didn't capitalize on that blocked field goal, but capitalized on the interception. And two good plays by Moya. Yeah. You know, to recover the, what you call, field goal block field goal and take it for 35 yards or whatever, and then they get the interception. Well, I'm surprised on that second down play for the one. It was such a long throw because those long throws have not worked for Lutheran tonight. It's been the shorter throws. Yeah. Ortega to kick it off. That's Jacob Ortega kicking that one off towards the sideline. It bounces, and it's still loose, and it's picked up at the 10, and that is straight with a football, and then he's thrown down from behind beautifully. Oh, that's a great play on special teams by the Mustangs. Ortega got down there, but I believe unless that was Frankie. I think Frankie made that tackle. Other than that uh, fumble recovery where they had had it on the one, that's got to be their worst field position starting off for Lutheran. Yeah. Yep. First and ten for Lutheran at their own 13-yard line. Well, he threw 50 passes a week ago. He's going to throw more than 50 in this game. We're still in the third quarter. Nick Moss has attempted 38 unofficially. There's a snap, the slant. It is caught. That is tack. He's loose. And now he's going to be hit. But that's going to be a first down towards the 25. Yeah, he was uh, another quick hitter. Well, that's all they're doing right now. That's Again, that's why I was surprised at the last play. That's a gain of 13. And that was the 39th pass attempt 
And the ninth completion to no attack. That pass is caught out in the left flat to Garcia. And then he makes a move to the inside. And then Fajardo and others bring him down. Gain of about five yards. We'll see if that's the final play. Here in this third quarter, we have 13 seconds to go right up to the line of scrimmage. Second and five from the 31. Nick Moss with six seconds to go with five. With four. They get the snap off. The pass out to the left. That's caught. And making a move along the sideline is Garcia. Close to a first down. That's the end of the third quarter with a score. Fort Morgan 24, Lutheran 6 on B106 and B106.com. Let's head to the fourth quarter. I'm John Beltran with Brian Nickel and Kevin Rohde. The Mustangs lead 24 to 6 in Parker over the Lutheran Lions. First and 10 for Lutheran at their own 37 yard line. Mustangs have a touchdown in this quarter from J.P. Hamer, a 14-yard run in which he piggybacked defenders, and that pass is out to the right incomplete. At the 40-yard line, defended by Jacob Ortega, intended over there for Tack. When Jacob had a hand on that, if he could have just tipped that up or been one step further, he would have had a pick six. Tack attempted 21 passes in the opening half. In that quarter alone, you see, he threw about 20 passes. He's got 42 attempts in the game. Moss is back to throw. Pressure up the middle, and he wiggles out of it. He runs to his left. He spins across the 40-yard line to the 43. That's a nice nifty move there for the quarterback, Nick Moss. But he paid for it. Boy, he took a lick in there at the end of that play. Yep. Gain of seven. He's clearing the cobwebs out of his head. Yeah, Brian Paxton was around that football. On third down and three from the 43. Trips to the right. Moss looks to his right, throws. The pass is dropped underneath of the 45. Would not have been a first down to tack. Isaac Linker defending fourth down. I'm thinking it is four down territory. Yep. Down three well, scores. Yeah. Well, they just got to look for the short pattern. Maybe those Fort Morgan defenders got to play a little bit tight. Edson, Ortega, and Moya, because you know it's going to be a very, very short pass here. They only need the three yards. Edson is way off his receiver. Let's see what they like to do. Moss on fourth down and three. Rolls out to his right. Throws in the run. That pass is intercepted. Up the left side is Moya to the 30. And he's out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Tackled by Nick Moss. Donovan Moya with a second interception here in the second half. And the Mustangs are in business again. Yeah, he just stepped right into that. It was, he just telegraphed that pass out there to the... Out there to the flat after he rolled out, and he right. just stepped right in front of it. Well, on his last seven passes, Nick Moss is two out of seven for 24 yards and two interceptions. That was his 44th pass attempt of the game. With 11.08 to go, Fort Morgan's already up by 18. First and 10 from the 29-yard line of Lutheran. Oh. Linker hands it off to Hamer, and he nearly broke a tackle at the line of scrimmage. He was grabbed around the ankles and tackled at the 27 by Brody Schneider, a senior. Second down and eight to go for Fort Morgan. I thought Alex Ortega was hit. He was just leaning, but they didn't call any, any motion or movement on him. Yeah. 16 carries for 48 yards for Hamer, and he's got that 14-yard touchdown run. Yeah, this is time for Fort Morgan to take some time off the clock. On second down and eight, there's the handoff again to Hamer. He's getting loose, and he spins across the 25 to the 21. The solid run again there for Hamer. A gain of six. He's just putting his head down. He's... Oh, he's gaining some confidence yeah, right. right now, too. Yeah. And so is that line. I think they're wearing right. down that Lutheran defense. Third down and two. And now they're actually chewing up a little bit of clock. We are now under 10 minutes to go in the game. 
Third down and two for the 21. Well, they're coming on a blitz, undoubtedly. Handoff, Hamer, and he slipped in the backfield and fell at the 22. A loss of one. And also slipping there along the line was Nick Norris. He lost his footing there momentarily. So the loss of one makes it fourth down and three. Whoa, they're gonna, why are they putting that football at the 23? I don't know. I mean, it's at the 22. Now it's fourth and four. Linker might use his legs for this one. Linker rolls out to his right. Backside pressure. Still rolling. Throws on the run. That pass is going to be caught. That's a diving reception by Jacob Ortega. What a throw by Linker along the sideline to the 13. It's a gain of 10 and a Fort Morgan first down on the sliding reception by the junior. I mean, that was a play that was. and a thing of beauty. And for Linker, has only completed four passes in a game. And the best part is it gives us an opportunity to eat up another couple minutes off the clock. On that last play, he took the snap before it got into that five-minute or the five-second count. So we need to get better at that. Yeah, first and ten for the 12. Linker keeps the football, swings it back to the outside, and he's trying to break out of a tackle. They grab him around the jersey, and then about four Lions bring him to the turf at the 10. It'll be a gain of two for Isaac Linker. He's been busy tonight. That's his 12th carry. Yep. Well, 12th say, carry for 44 yards. I'm sorry, Kevin. That's right. They say when you have a quarterback that runs, that gives you one more blocker, makes it that much more difficult to defend against, and I think Linker's going to use that to his advantage this year. Second down and eight yards to go. The Mustangs are at the Lutheran 10-yard line. Ortega's in motion to the right, and the ball is dropped by Linker. Now he picks it up. Now the ball is stripped from behind, and it's recovered by Lutheran, I believe it is, at the 18-yard line. The Mustangs were right there as well, but it was recovered, so the Mustangs have committed the turnover. But luckily, Lutheran is backed up inside their own 20. Go defense! Yeah, he never really had control of the ball. After he dropped it, picked it up, and was stripped immediately. Right. At that point, I think at this point of the game, you'd hope that he'd just fall on the ball and secure it. But yeah. He's right. a gamer, and he wants to make something out of it. He wanted to make a play. First and 10 for Lutheran at their own 18-yard line. Nick Moss has thrown two interceptions here in the second half. Trips to the left this time. Moss looking that way. The slant is going to be incomplete. Thrown behind Tack and in front of Cumley. He is not very sharp right now. I, I'm starting to wonder whether he's not dinged a little bit. He's rocking his head back and forth every play. and He just doesn't have that crispness on his throws that he had first half. Well, first part of you know, half. it's getting to be a ridiculous amount of pass attempts. Right. 45 passes in the game. He was 13 of 21 for 85 yards in the opening half. He started off very hot here in this, in the third quarter. He was 4 for 4 for 38 yards at one point. And thrown for 94 yards here in the second half, but a bunch of incompletions. High snap, Moss comes down with it, rolls out to his left, throws towards the sideline on the run, and it's caught by an assistant coach. <laughs> Third down and 10 for the 18. Nice hands, though, by the coach. Yeah. Oh, outstanding hands. And he had a couple receivers open. That might be Brian's best observation of the night. Yes. <laughs> You've had others. Yes. You've had others, but <laughs> that's, that's the most, good hands. That's the most recent. Right. Let's see, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 of his 23 passes have been incomplete. 11 of 24, so no, just over 50% on third down and 10 for the 18. Or intercepted, by the way. Perfect snap. Moss back to throw. Deep over the middle. The pass is complete. A first down to no attack. Across the 30 to the 32. It's a gain of 14. And for Tack, that's his 10th reception of the game. And that ends a string of five either incomplete or intercepted passes thrown by Nick Moss. Yeah, they couldn't quite get the pressure on him that time to 
hurry up that throw. 7.58 to go in the game. Fort Morgan 24, Lutheran 6 at their own 32-yard line. Moss has the football, throws it out to the left. It's caught by Garcia underneath. He's got a seam to the outside across the 35-yard line. Then he's tackled at about the 39. Fajardo in on the hit. That's a gain of 7. And for Keo Garcia, that's his 12th reception of the game. But again, the good news, the clock is moving. Fort Morgan is going to let them have the yardage as long as the clock moves. On second down and three from the 39-yard line. Two receivers out to the left and two to the right. The lone setback is Pacheco. Pass out towards the sideline is going to be, is that caught? Boy, that's a heck of a reception and a high that throw is. by Cumley. And that will be a first down. A short gain, but he only needed three yards, and he got five instead. Boy, well, he's back on a roll. His last three passes have been complete. They've gone for a total of 26 yards from the 44-yard line. Under seven minutes to go from Parker. Nick Moss, one-step drop, throws it out to his right, caught by Norman, breaks it of a tackle, has got the sideline, and then he's going to be taken down, close to a first down. No, he's got the first down into Mustang territory. He's at the 45, maybe the 44. And it's a gain of 11 on the completion from Moss to Andre Norman. They're playing way off of him, that's for sure. Yeah, well, they're going to wind that clock. That's good. So he was not tackled out of bounds. Again, Moss back to pass. Pressure coming through over the middle. Is going to be caught by Tack with one hand. I don't know. Then he brought it in. Boy, that's a heck of a play. I thought that might have had a chance of being intercepted as Moya and others make the hit. Go defense! And a tremendous reception and a first down to no attack. And see where that football is placed. Gain of 17. Case Givens was in there putting the pressure on him, but he got it off just in time. At the 28, wide receiver screen to the left, caught by Garcia, has got the sideline, stutter steps, a move back to the inside, now back towards the sideline. That might be a first down. Yep. Now let's see how many yards he got on that one. The original line of scrimmage was the 28. And again, we don't have the vantage point from here. As you mentioned, Garcia's got the hot hand for them today. Last week, he didn't have a single reception. It's a gain of 13. And that Rif Rifkin, is that his name? Right. Yeah, Max Rifkin. He hasn't, you haven't called his name at all tonight. 13th catch of the game for Kale Garcia. Lutheran threatening at the 15-yard line. On first down, Moss, a deep drop, sets, throws over the middle, incomplete. Behind Andre Norman, off his hands. Be second down. Gosh, this guy. I mean, his arm's going to fall off. Yeah. yeah. 53 pass attempts. He's thrown for 161 yards in this half alone. And 246 in the game. Last week, he threw for 242 in a 19 point loss to Platte Valley. Second down and 10 for the Mustang 15 yard line. Moss with a three-step drop, lobs it out to his left. It's caught underneath along the sideline, off the shoe tops. And Luke Arnold made that catch out of the backfield. Let's see how far he got with that one. Looks like maybe three, four. Gain of five. Third down and five. Should be at the 10-yard line. This is definitely four down territory. Out of the pistol once again. Back to throw is Moss. Backside pressure lobs it towards the corner. And that is broken up. Intended for no attack. Was that Ortega? That was broken up at the last second. He was right, right in there. You couldn't have played that any better. Oh, uh, they got a flag on the play. Yep. Probably holding because it's in the backfield. Well, there was pressure coming unless he was hit late, but I don't think he was. Yep. Well, are they going to take the penalty here because it would be a fourth down and five? Fourth and five or third and 15. You know, they're chewing it up pretty fast. Yeah, I think they're going to take the penalty. Yep. 
Averages. Especially if the hold was behind the line of scrimmage. Right. Yeah, takes up more time off the clock. Averages out to more yards per play. Only back they have to get. Yep. Well, it'll be third down and 15 from the 25. That's exactly what they did. Well, they were at the 10, so it should be more than that. It should be about third and 20. I think they have the math wrong on the scoreboard. And now pressure coming backside, oh, ruling to his left. Moss escapes, throws oh, along the sideline, and the pass is caught, but well short of a first down. Comley makes the catch. But again, short of a first down. Let's see where the football is spotted. We just wait because we're on the other. That's a gain of 13. So now it's four. at the 12. Two. No, that's got to be fourth so. and about nine. Eight yep. yards to go, actually. Fourth and eight at the 12. This is it. If Lutheran has any chance, and they call a timeout. With 5.57 to go in the game, the Mustangs lead the Lutheran Lions by a score of 24 to 6. And really, this game in the second half has belonged to Donovan Moya. Two yep. huge interceptions. Yep. And... One produced a touchdown. The other one produced incredible field position that the Mustangs, unfortunately, did not take advantage of. Yeah, and then, I mean, then you look at the... Then you look it at cannot the putter. Be, it cannot be, what's that? Then you look at the putter. I, mean, I was going to say, that's exactly what I was going to say. It cannot be understated it, it, the it, job Frankie Ortega has done tonight. If you're looking down the road at MVP of the game... Yeah, I, I, think I think it's two, two of the candidates. Yeah, you know, well, and, and, and it, it might have to be those two. And really, right. it's hard to separate one from the other. Right. Because that's that's one and one A right there. Right. Here we go. Fourth down and eight to go for the 12. Luther has traveled uh, quite a distance here to get into the red zone, but they're still not in the end zone. From the pistol, Nick Moss rolls out to his right. He has time. He has room. Throws across his body towards the end zone. Nope. And that is going to be incomplete. Incomplete near the goal line intended for Tack. And the Mustangs take over with 5.51 to go in the game. After the 55th pass attempt by Nick Moss. Yeah, they took... Quite a bit of time off the clock, just right. going down the field and didn't come up with anything. So I think that's apparently what they did last week, all, all the yardage that they had and couldn't get it in the end zone. Right. First right. and 10 for the Mustangs at their own 12. And they have a decent defense and you know, pretty good offense. Well, they lost by 19 to Platte Valley last week. They're down by 18 to Fort Morgan this week. Now it's taking care of the football. An 11th Lutheran defender runs onto the field. That's Pacheco. Are they going to have to take a timeout? What? What's the flag for? There was no countdown. Yeah. The back judge did not signal. Never did. Oh, he's counting how many people. They got 12. Yeah, oh, they yeah. got 12 people on the field. Right. So that's right. for five free yards. Yeah. Well, then again, I mean. Uh, Isaac Linker does not have to wait at this point because the right. clock is not running. Right. Right. He can snap it at any point. He doesn't have to wait till there's five seconds to go on the play clock. Yeah. Illegal substitution, so it's right. first and five. At the 17-yard line. All of a sudden, it's getting a little bit cooler. Well, not all of a sudden. I've been feeling it for a while. I just didn't want to say anything. Crystal clear ice, good for any drink at any time of the year. That's AC ice. You can pick it up at any local grocery or convenience store near you in northeast Colorado. First and five for the 17. Linker hands it off on the right side. And there's a seam on the outside. That's Hamer. And Arnold made the tackle. Got a couple of yards, maybe. Five. Gain of, uh, no, I think he nope. just got nope. one. I'm sorry. One yard. That's the first time Hamer's bounced it outside. You know, their, their defensive ends are doing a good job of containing him and keeping him in. Second and four for the 18. 5-19 to go in the game. Fort Morgan 24, Lutheran 6. Linker again letting that play clock 
Wind down. Still not at five yet. Now at five. At four. Gets the snap off. There's the handoff. And Stutter stepping in. And into the clear is Hamer. Hamer is at midfield. Hamer to the 40. J.P. Hamer to the 30. Defender in pursuit of the 20. J.P. Hamer scores. J.P. Hamer has just gone 82 yards. And the Mustangs now lead 30 to 6. And that's going to make our uh, rushing statistics look a lot better. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he broke that at the middle and he was gone. J.P. Hamer at halftime had 10 carries for 27 yards. J.P. Hamer now has 20 carries in the game. And has got 133 yards. Yep, just over six yards per average. Now the extra point to be attempted by Adam Cardona. Off the hold of Isaac Linker. Low snap. The kick is up. And that one is inside the left upright. 4.53 to go in the game. The score. Fort Morgan 31. Lutheran 6. On Morgan County's B106 and B106.com. J.P. Hamer just scored his second touchdown of the game. 82 yards for the senior. His third touchdown of the season. The Mustangs now lead 31 to 6. Here in Parker. But I'm sure Lutheran will still be throwing the football. You'd have to assume that's their mojo. And that is a line drive that will bounce and picked up by Norman at the 16. Running along the left sideline across the 30 to the 35. And then Eddie DePriest. Brings him down. And he was also brought down at the, about the 40-yard line. Yep. Nice. By Leo Luna. Although, yeah. with them playing and throwing the ball, there's not going to be much time off of this clock. Just a lot of time off of well, my clock. You know, this is a good yeah. time for them to work in the running game. <laughs> but then again, they don't run. They ran early and it didn't work. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. Latino is the lone setback. Low snap. The pass out to the right. That's caught by Tack. He's got some running room. He runs into a Mustang and Cade Netson. And across the 50 towards the 47. It's a gain of 11. And a first down for Lutheran. Let's see if they hurry a little bit more. Oh, come on, wind that clock. Is that the 46-yard line? Come on, home team here. Jeez. Well, the official never wound it. Yeah, that's back to throw. Pressure coming, and this could be picked off, and the ball is up there. And was that caught? It was caught by Norman. It was up for grabs deep down the middle, and there's a flag down. That's going to go all the way towards about the 20-yard line. And now, is that going to be a roughing the passer because everybody's walking the other way? Yep, they're going to add 15 on there. Well, that pass just went for 26 yards to Norman. What could they possibly be talking about? I don't know. I thought I thought they were right on him when he got rid of it. So I did too. First and 10 at the 19. Lutheran still looking to score. And that is a roughing the passer, but this is one of the longest high school, I mean, maybe the longest. I don't know if I've ever done a three-hour game, but this is approaching three hours already. Don't forget your flag, bud. Roughing the passer. The Unless they hit him high or something in the head or right. something, I didn't see it. Like had their hands up and came down. Yeah. Right. Well, they're adding quite a bit of yardage here. First and goal. Football's at the nine. And they are winding, I mean, they're trying to wind the clock, but uh, there, Jesus. Whoever's operating the clock is from Lutheran. Not good. Back to throw, and that pass over the middle is going to be caught in the back of the end zone for a touchdown on the slant. I think that's Garcia. Yep, Garcia makes the catch from nine yards away, and Lutheran is back on the board. It's 31 to 12. Fort Morgan's getting their hands team ready for that onside kick, but 
It's almost sure to be coming. Yep. And that is the 14th reception of the game for Garcia. And now, yeah, they want to go for two. It'll still be a three-score game. Attempting the two-point conversion. Moss back to throw. The pass over the middle is incomplete. Broken up at the goal line. Flag came in from the other yeah, side. Yeah, there is it is a flag down. It was broken up by Ortega, Alex Ortega, but there is a flag from behind. That might be a pass interference or a hold by a Fort Morgan defender. So they'll attempt another two point conversion. Yeah, pass interference on Fort Morgan, so that'll place the ball half the distance. I feel like we've done two football games tonight. <laughs> it feels yep. that way. And the momentum swung back and forth so many times, but at this point it doesn't really matter if it swings towards Lutheran. They're not going to make up this many points. Another two-point conversion attempt for Nick Moss. Snap out to his right. He throws, and that one's behind the receiver. No attack. Incomplete. 4.18 to go. Let's take a one-minute break. The score, Fort Morgan 31, Lutheran 12. On B106 and B106.com. Nine-yard touchdown pass from Nick Moss to Kale Garcia. And the two-point conversion, no good. It's 31-12, to and now the Mustang hands team is in there. Nick Moss is thrown for 306 yards in a game. 221 in the second half. And there's the onside kick. It's got to go 10 yards. The ball is loose. It did go 10 yards. And Fort Morgan's got it. Isaac Linker's come away with a football. Thank goodness. Yes. Well, let's see if they can just run this clock out. This is. We're still at the 416 mark. There are NFL games that have gone shorter than this. And it's only 48 minutes in high school football, 60 minutes in the NFL and college football. With commercial breaks. Exactly, and, with extended official, commercial breaks. And official reviews. First and 10 for the Mustangs, where it was recovered by Linker at their own 49-yard line. And because of this, we'll not only have a short post-game show, we'll pick up the Colorado Prep Scoreboard show in progress with Kevin Schaefer. If you're listening live, Mustang Replay is at 11 o'clock, so <laughs> the replay of this game will be coming up pretty shortly as well. On first and 10 from their own 49. Linker will hand it off to Hamer, off the right side, and he dives across the 50 to the 48. It's a gain of about three for J.P. Hamer. Finally gets this under four minutes. Hamer's been given two yards here. Went over 100 after the 82-yard touchdown run. Second down. Well, they're going to say the 48. Okay. So it is a gain of three. Approaching the three-and-a-half-minute mark. Isaac Lenker. We'll hand it off to Hamer. Swings it to the outside. Running room to the 30. He might go the distance to the 20. Hamer at the 10. Hamer breaks a tackle and he's out of bounds. So he stepped on the end line. Hamer nearly scored again. But instead it's a gain of 43 yards for J.P. Hamer. First and goal at the 5. You know, in a way, <laughs> I don't know. You know, because this game's only being extended, you score again, and yeah. Lutheran's going to keep throwing it. Yeah. I mean, this guy's going to throw over 60 passes in this game. If they were out of timeouts, I would just start the victory formation I'd and kick the field goal. Yeah. J.P. Hayne in this half has a run for, let's see, 154 yards in this half alone. Unofficial, he's got 171 in the game. Make it 181. First and goal, and now we got a flag down. Or was it a timeout? My bad, timeout. Fort Morgan calls a timeout. Ty Davies out in the field. You know what they were Summoning gonna... his players there. 
They thought, I think he thought they were going to run out of time. They were down to the, about the one second on the play clock. Well, there's 3.20 to go in the game. Fort Morgan leads Lutheran 31-12. to We'll be at Legion Field next Friday night when the Mustangs take on Thomas Jefferson. And we can safely say that tonight we should be home probably past midnight or at least near it. Yep. Yep. Well, you guys sound enthusiastic. All right, uh, Colorado Plains Medical Center has experienced physicians and a highly trained surgical team trained in the latest surgical <laughs> procedures. Explain what procedures are possible in your hometown. That's Colorado Plains Medical Center. First and goal for the Mustangs at the five-yard line. Actually, I'm faking my enthusiasm right now, so <laughs> I'm pretty much a fraud at this point. Well, we've got to be enthusiastic that the Mustangs have started the season off 2-0. Oh, yeah, that's, that's for sure. Yeah, that's a, a good and start. And without a running game in the first half, really, without a running game in the first, what, three quarters, and all of a sudden Hamer has gone off here in the fourth. And no injuries. That's another blessing so far. Man in motion to the left is Luna. Linker hands it off. Hamer, touchdown, right up the gut. J.P. Hamer from five yards away. He scores again. And the Mustangs lead 37 to 12. Yeah, wide open. You almost look like they, you know, they're yeah. so far behind, but it made it almost look like they wanted him to score so they could right. get the ball back, but yeah. you're not going to catch up on the scoreboard. No, you do that when you're maybe one score down. Right. <laughs> no, I think uh, on that one, they just were expecting them to throw to or pitch to Ortega. And then uh, the priest had a great lead block and pancaked his guy about five yards deep in the end zone. The extra point by Cardona is blocked. 317 to go in the game. Fort Morgan 37, Lutheran 12. This is B106 and B106.com. The Mustangs have scored three touchdowns here in the second half. J.P. Hamer has gone off a five-yard touchdown run, and that uh, kickoff is headed towards the end zone on three hops. And Lutheran has the ball at their own 20, trailing 37-12 to with 3.17 to go in the game. J.P. Hamer has three touchdowns in this half. That would be another candidate for player of the game, but he's a latecomer. To he's that. a latecomer to that, and it was yeah. all set up by you know. I mean, again, Donovan Moya with those two interceptions really set the tone for what happened later on in this half. And then you got another candidate, number two, Fajardo, is just an outstanding job at corner out there, you know, making great tackles and, and not allowing anything to get past him. First and ten for the twenty. Low snap. Back to throw is Moss. Deep up the left side, and it it's going to be intercepted at the 45-yard line. And down at the 39, it is picked off by Dylan Woods. And that is interception number three for the Mustangs. And hopefully that will be it for the Lutheran offense. I don't want to see them out there anymore. No, I don't either. Well, hopefully we'll play some defense against this then. Pass attempt number 59. For Lutheran. And for Nick Moss. You're not counting that one uh, to the coach as a uh, completion, are you? Uh, I'm not, Kevin. That's that's an excellent question. Because I think that guy had some good hands, I heard. Well, again, that observation, yeah. That's right. That's, uh, i tell you. 36 out of 58 passing for 306 yards unofficially in three interceptions for Nick Moss. Caden Edson at the reins now. From the 47, there's the handoff left side and maybe a yard, if even that, that's Cale Langford at the 40. So the original line of scrimmage was the 40. Running laterally to his left, no gain. Second down and 10. Langford had a huge play in this game with a sack of the quarterback Moss in the first quarter for a safety that made it a 9 nothing game. Second down and 10 for Fort Morgan, but just take the time off the clock and the Mustangs are huddling up. Still have the varsity line in there. Timeout, Lutheran. you got to be kidding me. 
That is pathetic. You're calling timeout down by 25 with two and a half to go? Maybe he wants to get his JVs in too. No, but still, you can do that in between plays. Yeah. Now That's, I'm going to whine. Why, I'm sorry. Why, That's ridiculous. Why leave them in your pocket? You know, you can't use them next game. <laughs> Are we getting Let me tell you. Now? Kevin's never really gotten on my nerves till right now. <laughs> <laughs> Success Love at it. last. <laughs> the only, yeah, exactly. There you go. I know. All right. So it'll be second down and 10 for the Mustangs at the 40-yard line of Lutheran. We are just shy of the top of the hour. Listening live, believe it or not. Colorado Prep scoreboard show to follow in progress. And it's a 37-12 Fort Morgan lead. We still have 2.32 to go in the game. And just got an update from uh, my lovely wife that looks like Weldon Valley, or not Weldon Valley, Prairie beat uh, Briggsdale 56-40. to Well, let's just do all the scores. We might as well do all the scores or so. You know why? Because we got to be the last game of the night, right? And they're all, and they're all missing uh, the prep show, scoreboard. Yeah. Edson back up the middle. And he's going to gain about three. They've called timeout again. This oh, is ridiculous. What is wrong At with the 37. People? I mean, that that's their last timeout. That is unbelievable. Third down and seven from the 37. Wow. I mean, you can't concede the game. We got to play a, a three plus hour football game. You're down by 25. I mean, the quarterback has attempted 59 passes. Jeez. All right. Never say never. Isn't that how it goes? Yep. 36 out of 59. Again, for 306 yards. The running game for Lutheran has really not been existent at all. Three interceptions. Thrown in the second half by Nick Moss. Two intercepted by Moya. The other by Dylan Woods. We still have 2.24 to go. And I think... We're going to have breakfast later or dinner? Right. <laughs> yeah. I think breakfast that, that's King That's if anything's open. Bre yeah. Breakfast King is open 24 hours. But uh, in, some, <laughs> in some teams that we'll be playing later, Conifer with a big win, 55 over the Summit. Boy, look at that Evergreen Mead game. Eight yeah. to seven. Evergreen won that one. Yeah, that's that's a surprise. Mead drops to one and two. Um, Erie ranked number one. They pounds Frederick forty three to sixteen. Northridge is a four Morgan opponent in the future. They lost to Greeley Central twenty seven nothing. Thompson Valley lost fifty five nothing. Hand off to Priest right side, and he bulls his way towards the thirty five. It's a gain of two. Oh no, that wasn't their last timeout. They're taking all their timeouts now. Fourth down and five. Jeez. The Priest with a second carry of the game. And let me tell you, when you get Brian Nickel rattled, then you know there's an issue. It's, it's right. just ridiculous. And I probably the... Maybe, the just, sorry, go ahead, Brian. No, this... This is KPRB Brush Fort Morgan. I'm John Beltran with Brian Nickel and Kevin Rohde. Right here on Morgan County's B106. I mean, normally games that take this long go into overtime. Right. Yeah, or there's been... We had that one of Weld well, Central, and I think that was, they had an injury on that one or something there. It yeah. took forever. Right, you're right. But tonight, for, you know, fortunately, nobody's been well, hurt, at least not yet. Somebody yeah. might kill that coach. But I, would, <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see Fort Morgan pick up this first down. A fourth and five. Lutheran is definitely now out of timeouts. All right. Hey, another score from a big uh, 3A game. Pueblo East is up 28-21 over Palmer Ridge. Wow. Palmer Ridge with the one loss to... Uh, the, to, to Pine Creek, Pine the defending Creek, which, 4A champion. Which is no uh, problem. So I think those two probably will see each other again in the playoffs. Uh, Palmer yeah. Ridge and Pueblo East, two great teams. Out of the pistol is Caden Edson. Eddie DePriest is the lone setback. Fourth and five from the Lutheran 35. Edson rolls out to his right off the play action. Takes it up the middle and he's going to be taken down. Short of a first down to the 34-yard line. And Lutheran takes over on downs. And they're sending Noah back out. He still has a couple throws in that arm. Apparently. Trying to set a record, maybe. I don't know. 
Well, great. I mean, he's doing it against... I mean, it's good for Fort Morgan. You know, they're players that uh, don't get a lot of playing time because they're the younger players. Let's see if they can heave it downfield again and get picked off for a fourth time. And now Eddie DePriest has to come off because of an equipment issue. So it's first and 10 for Lutheran at their own 33-yard line. So Edson did pick up a couple of yards. And Brian Paxton runs out under the field for the Mustangs. Well, Connor Fajardo is in there for Fort Morgan, so they do have a starter out there in the secondary. Nick Moss back to throw. Pressure coming up the middle, setting up a screen, and that is caught underneath at the 35, and then taken down at the 40 is Landon Latino. It's a gain of seven. Second down and three. They're right up to the line of scrimmage. I'll pick that up. Oh, no, that's that's Fort Morgan's numbers. I'll pick that up later. You need 25 points and you run a screen. Well, I mean, this whole thing is ridiculous. Calling timeouts down by 25. Back to throw here. Pressure coming. Deep up the right side. That pass is incomplete. Intended over there for no attack. That was pass attempt number 61. Yeah, it'll be third down and three. Yeah, I don't know. Much, I mean, I'm this has sure nothing to do, by the way, with a no quit attitude. Come on, I don't want to hear that. No, you're right. I mean, please concede the game already. You're down by 25, calling timeouts on defense. Third down and three. Back to throw is Moss. He'll take off with the football, and he's going to pick up a first down along the left sideline. Still on his feet, and he's out of bounds. Nice play there by Nick Moss as he got to about midfield. Maybe got more than that. Up, he got 10 yards in a play. And that's his longest gain as a quarterback for scrimmage. First and 10 in midfield, a minute 27 to go. We'll have a very short break after the game, and then we'll get you the numbers, and then we'll call it a night and get to a very small portion of the Colorado Prep scoreboard show. Over a three-hour game tonight here from Parker. And Moss, again, a quick drop. Pumps. He's a deep up the right side. That pass is going to be caught by Norman at the 30. Norman is by himself, and he is gone. It's a 50-yard touchdown. 50 yards to Andre Norman. And it's now 37-18. to 18. Guess that's what they were looking for. Just like five more times and they'll get the win. Maybe they got money on the game. They're trying to get the spread a little closer. Right. <clears throat> Could be. 363 yards. That was his 60-second pass attempt. 160 and seconds, is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 60 seconds, I'm sorry. 38 out of 62 for 363 yards. Now the two-point conversion. Moss throws it out to his right, and that pass is going to be caught by Norman. Yeah, it was a nice, nice catch. He was up in the air and flipped over and held on to it. 37 to 20. Now let's see if we have the ridiculous onside kick. Let me see what. Let me get that. Yeah, the Fort Morgan numbers. I. I dropped them on the ground. I wanted to drop other things on the ground uh, after a game this long. Well, at least the officials seem to have stopped calling penalties. So thank goodness. Thank you, Brian. All right. Again, we're going to run through the numbers as quickly as we can. This will be a quick post game. As Fort Morgan still has the hands team out there. You know, I would think at this point, honestly, just kick the thing off. And interesting, the hands team includes number 75, uh, Nick Norris. Yeah, well, Nick Norris does have good hands. Yeah, he's good, he has excellent good baseball hands. Player. Yes, and basketball, too. Yeah. Yeah. Isaac Linker right there in the middle. Alex Ortega. Jacob Ortega. Yeah, that's that's a very good hands team out there. Adam Cardona. All right. So here we go. 
This is going to be an onside. It will be. And the ball is loose. Didn't go 10 yards, did it? I don't think it went, but a Mustang nope. touched it. A Mustang did touch it at the 49-yard line. Oh. That's all we need is to get someone hurt. Yeah, like Linker. Linker's like that. getting up limping. I think they... Yeah, I don't know. There's a flag down. I don't think it went 10 yards. And a Mustang is clapping out there. I hope so. Then we can just kneel on this thing. Well, let's see what the decision is. I mean, uh, they'll probably take a couple more minutes. What? Well, no. What's I mean, that at this point? Now, why are they conferring on this? Let's see. It's Fort Morgan's ball. They're asking for a ball from the Mustangs. Okay, two knees and let's get out of here. We'll run through the scoring quickly. And yeah, Fort Morgan will take a couple of knees and get out of here with a 37 to 20 victory. Let's see if they have the sensibility to not hit our lineman on the victory formation. I would hope so. I think there's a new rule on that. Well, a couple of snaps, and Isaac Linker's actually back out there. And he will take a knee. It'll be second down as the ball is at midfield. One more snap of the football, and the Fort Morgan Mustangs will improve to 2-0, and and they'll drop Lutheran to 0-2. And, and that'll be it. We're down to 51 seconds to go in the game. Linker up to the line of scrimmage. And he takes a knee, and that should be it unless they're going to reset the clock again and nope that should be it for the mustangs and fort morgan has won the game over Luther 37 to 20. mustang post game show is brought to you by morgan community college morgan community college will make your dreams become a reality for both traditional and non-traditional students check them out at morgancc.edu so the mustangs got on the board a 31 yard touchdown pass from Isaac Linker to Jacob Ortega, making it 7 0. Then a safety when Kale Langford later on in the first quarter tackled Nick Moss in the end zone, made it 9 0. And then Fort Morgan made it a 17 0 game. And that was on the 44 yard catch from. 56 yard pass. Yeah, 56 yard pass. And I said. Hamer had three touchdowns in the game. Those were on the ground. He had four, so he matches Ortega's total from a week ago. So that made it 17 nothing after the two-point conversion. Lutheran would come back on a, a touchdown pass to Devontae Street from nine yards away, made it 17-6. to And then basically from there, even though Lutheran has scored a couple of touchdowns, J.P. Hamer took over. Touchdown runs of 14-82 and five yards. Hamer unofficially 22 carries for 186 yards, three touchdowns on the ground, one in the air. Isaac Linker tonight passing was only four out of 15, but two touchdown passes. He threw for 115 yards. And Jacob Ortega, of course, had the one catch for 31. Hamer one for 56. Nick Moss unofficially for Lutheran, 38 of 62 for 363 yards. Kale Garcia had 14 catches, and no attack had 12 receptions, and both went over 100 yards in the game, but really doesn't matter at this point. The Mustangs win the game by a score of 37 to 20. Time to name our Mustang player of the game, brought to you by Trans West. They believe that customers are number one. Check out their selection online or just stop by one of their dealerships in Fort Morgan, or a Sterling today, that is Trans West. Well, we had several candidates, but I think sometimes you might go in order of uh, you know who did what, and uh, I don't mind giving it to both Frankie Ortega and uh, and Donovan Moya. Yep. Frankie really set the tone. So many great punts. I mean, it's rare that you give it to a freshman punter, but he was really instrumental and. Um, <laughs> 
should we make it a three-way tie? Hamer with four touchdowns, tough to keep him out. <laughs> you know, so uh, we'll have a three-way tie for the player of the game because th- those were huge plays. Frankie Ortega on special teams, uh, Donovan Moya on defense. You could do it for each one of the units, and your offensive player of the game, J.P. Hamer. Mustangs will take on Thomas Jefferson coming up on Friday, 7 o'clock on B106, as well as B106.com. Outstanding job by our sound engineer and producer, Herrick Curtis. For Brian Nickel and Kevin Rohde, I'm John Beltran. The final score tonight from Parker in a marathon of a game. Fort Morgan, 37, Lutheran, 20, right here on B106 and B106.com.